One Piece. The First Family. Chapter 41. After Orochimaru confirmed that it was his sister Minato, he quickly walked over with a cold face. Not to mention that I want to get Mangekio Sharingan, it is already very good without being severely punished. Minato was his youngest sister and the most favored by her father. He also personally taught her some ninjutsu, the art of flying thunder god. This technique is a ninjutsu that even he has not been able to learn. It is extremely difficult. It can be said to be very difficult. However, the other ninjutsu you master may not be inferior to this ninjutsu. It can even be said to be stronger, but not as convenient. Minato, who is currently following Nami and Nokigao wandering around the village, seemed to be aware of it. He immediately saw his long-haired snake brother and shouted happily. Brother snake, brother snake. Nami and Nokigao turned around in surprise. Is Minato's brother here? Then wouldn't it be possible to truly see the reincarnation of a resurrected person? Orochimaru walked up to Minato with a cold face and yelled. How did you get here? Did you follow me out? But it actually came to me before me. This couldn't be something that his sister could do. Then he looked at the two women beside Minato. Could it be that these two people were leading the way? It seemed like it didn't hurt Minato. He breathed a sigh of relief. My sister is really naive. It's good that he's not in danger, otherwise he might really suffer terrible punishment. Minato said unhappily when he saw his brother's expression. Who told you not to take me out to play? Of course I went out to play by myself. The outside world is much more comfortable than staying on the island. The outside world is really big. Orochimaru's face turned even colder after hearing this. Sure enough, it was like this. Although he said that there was nothing wrong with his little sister, he followed him out and he didn't know if his father would punish him for it. He was really careless. He said slightly angrily. Although the outside world is very good, it is not something you can come out at your age. Be careful of being deceived by people outside. Minato said unhappily. No way. I also killed the famous Captain Aaron in the East China Sea before. He is one of the most powerful pirates in this sea. So no one in Donghai can hurt me. Orochimaru looked surprised and worried when he heard this. That Aaron, he had heard about in the past few days in the East China Sea, was the most famous pirate in the East China Sea. Not even Marine can do anything to him. The bounty has reached 18 million baileys. I didn't expect that the little girl is so powerful. Although it's nothing to him. Thinking of this, he asked in surprise. Little sister, have you successfully mastered the flying thunder god technique in Rasengan? These two techniques, one is S level and the other is A level. If they work together, it will be easy to kill Captain Aaron in one blow. Minato said happily. Yes, that's right. The dragon pirates dared to hurt Sister Nami, and then I killed Captain Aaron. By the way, I haven't introduced you yet. This is Sister Nami, and this is Sister Nuauchigao. They are the concubines I found for my father, and they are my future baby mothers. Nami and Nuauchigao's faces were a little rosy. It was a bit strange to be introduced like this. But they still introduced themselves calmly. I'm Nokigao. I'm Nami. Orochimaru was completely shocked. This guy, my little sister, actually found two little mothers. Looking at these two people, they have very good faces and very good figures. Of course he was not angry, but felt that the little girl was really a genius. My father will definitely like these two beautiful women. In that case, the father will definitely not punish the little sister again. Although she is the most favored person in the family, she will certainly be punished if she makes a mistake. Just like my father said. If they are not punished, they will not know what their children will look like. He naturally knows his father's good intentions. But why can't he imitate his little sister? If he also brings two beautiful women back to his father, he will not only be able to strengthen his family, but he will even be able to please his father. Then he was spared the punishment of coming out privately. Of course, there is also the punishment of the little girl following him out. This account will undoubtedly be settled on his head. If you can still please your father, you might be able to obtain the samsara I. Thinking of this, he had a smile on his face. The little girl is really a genius, she actually has such a good idea. He had made up his mind. If I have a chance to meet some beauties in the future, I must send them back to my father. He also smiled and introduced himself. I am Minato's older brother, Orochimaru. 
Thank you for taking care of my little sister. Minato asked happily. Brother Snake, when are you going to resurrect Kuina? Nami and Nokigao were excited when they heard this. Now you can see the magic of resurrection. Being able to be resurrected means that their mother can also be resurrected. Orochimaru was a little speechless. How did you tell them this? There was nothing authentic about Minato. Since she is my little mother, it doesn't matter if she knows. By the way, we have found Kuina's graveyard. Let's go there quickly. Orochimaru was a little helpless. Although she is a future baby mother, she has not officially become one yet. However, my father will definitely like this kind of beauty. My father has not taken a concubine for a long time. Now that I know the location of the cemetery, it saves me a lot of effort. It's better to do this early and leave early. Okay, take me there. These two are future baby mothers, so it doesn't matter if they get to know each other. Since she is my little mother, she should be one of my own. Even if his father did not accept these two people, he could still seal their memories. That way, family information will naturally not be revealed. Of course, based on my understanding of my father. My father is a good man and has many wives. So I have many brothers and sisters who are also very strong. Their family can be called the first family on the sea. It's just that my father chose to keep a low profile. Maybe he's used to being low-key. Therefore, not many people know the family's reputation. Soon after, Nami, Nokigao, Minato, and Orochimaru came to the mountain behind the Ishin Kendo Hall. There is a hill here with the tomb of my beloved daughter Kuina written on it. There is a hill on the other side, and the name seems to be that of Kuina's elder. But of course Orochimaru's purpose is just Kuina. Orochimaru slapped his hands on the ground. Earth style ascends. Immediately, the Kuina hill quickly rose up. The ground surged. Orochimaru observed the rising soil and found a jar, which probably contained Kuina's ashes. This is enough. Nokigao and Nami were both a little horrified when they saw this scene. Didn't you expect Minato's brother Orochimaru to be able to control the soil? It feels like a devil fruit ability. Like Minato said, her brothers and sisters all have special abilities. The two of them became more and more curious about her father, wondering how powerful a father could be to allow his children to have such abilities. But they asked Minato, and Minato replied that he had never eaten a devil fruit, so they were even more surprised. According to Minato, their siblings seemed to have inherited their abilities from their father. Sons and daughters can possess such magical abilities. If they could also have children with Minato's father, wouldn't the children be extremely powerful? As a mother, who doesn't want her children to become strong? From this point of view, Minato's father must be a man suitable for having a baby with him. At this time Orochimaru took out the jar from the mounds of soil and opened it to see that it was indeed ashes. Besides Kuina's ashes, whose ashes could they be? Now I can fulfill my father's wish. My father once said that Kuina is a swordsman genius and it would be great if she was still alive. Since my father didn't do it, it felt okay for him to do it. As long as the father is happy, just give him a pair of Mangekio Sharingan. My father still has this ability. Because my father has abilities even more terrifying than this. He planned to take it back and let his father truly resurrect it. Minato came closer. Brother Snake, now that we have Kuina's ashes, can we use the dirt reincarnation to resurrect her? Sure. Orochimaru took out a small piece of cloth and wrapped the jar before preparing to leave and return to the boat. But at this time, the four of them heard a very terrifying, cold and angry voice. What the hell are you guys doing? Nami was horrified to discover that the old man was Kuina's father. She wanted to explain, but she didn't know how to explain it. Are you really talking about such a fantasy as resurrecting the other party's daughter? They haven't really seen it themselves, and they were panicked for a moment. Koshiro was looking at the jar in the hand of the young man with long black hair and the soil rising from his daughter's grave. He was completely angry. This guy actually allowed his daughter to die without peace, and dared to touch his daughter's ashes. Put it back for me, restore the cemetery, and kowtow 1000 times, otherwise you won't be able to leave here today. Nami knew that the old man in front of him was no longer as amiable as when he first met. Now it's like an angry beast. Of course she understands. 
If her mother's grave was messed with like this, she would only be even more angry. Nuo Chigao stood up and explained despite the old man's terrifying pressure. Master, actually we just want to resurrect your daughter. Minato also shouted. Yes, grandpa, this way you can see your daughter. Koshiro was stunned for a moment when he heard this, but instead of feeling happy, his face became even colder. I thought you were Zoro's companions and kindly told me the location of my daughter's cemetery so that you could come and pay homage to my daughter. I didn't expect to do such a thing, and now you are saying things like deceiving me, an old man, about resurrecting my daughter. Do you really think I'm a three-year-old? Put it back, or I will draw the sword. Although he is usually gentle and does not get angry easily. But that doesn't mean he has no temper. His daughter is what he cares about most. Even after death, no one will be allowed to insult his daughter. Orochimaru's secret path is not good, it seems that there are more troubles today. The old man didn't believe it at all. But it doesn't matter whether he believes it or not, he just needs to take it back. It's obvious that this guy is not comparable to those ordinary pirates. Yes, of course he met pirates after he went to sea, but those people were already buried in the belly of the fish. He slowly stretched out his right hand. Latent shadow snake hands. In an instant, many small snakes emerged from his cuffs. He bit Koshiro violently. These little snakes have tasks such as deterrence, containment and capture, and can achieve the effect of multiple combos. Since this man is Kuina's father, and Kuina is the person whom her father values, he will naturally not kill her. As long as he loses the ability to resist after being bitten by the snake's venom, he can leave. Koshiro was stunned when he saw this scene. Is this guy a human who ate the snake devil fruit? How else would he be able to conjure so many snakes from his sleeves, but it doesn't sound right when he thinks about it. Even if he is an animal devil fruit user, he is just turning his body into an animal. It's obvious isn't it? Who is this guy? Facing the fierce little snake rushing towards him, he directly drew out the simple long knife on his waist. He waved quickly. In an instant, all the dozens of small snakes that attacked were cut into pieces. Minato was a little surprised when he saw this scene. This old man is very strong. He should be a master of swordsmanship. Nami Nachi was speechless. No matter how you look at it, your brother is probably even weirder. He can actually have so many snakes coming out of his sleeves. The two felt that Minato's brother was even more terrifying. After all, they are girls, so they are naturally afraid of snakes, which are slimy, long, and very vicious. Even Orochimaru was stunned. Unexpectedly, the other party took over his move easily. This guy is no ordinary person. It should be said to be very powerful. It seems like his brothers who use swords. Although it is impossible to be as powerful as his brother, his temperament is very similar, which is enough to explain the problem. This guy has the strength of a great swordsman. I didn't expect that there was such a person in the East China Sea. No wonder the father would value his daughter. How could a girl born from such a guy have weak swordsmanship talent? It seems that the little snake he cast is no match for the opponent at all. Then there is no need to use this trick again. At this time Koshiro looked at Orochimaru and waved the ancient longsword again. A flying slash flew directly towards Orochimaru. The terrifying slash even split the big tree behind it into two halves. Koshiro said coldly. Put down Kuina's ashes, or the next blow will be across your body. He was not joking, the other party had completely provoked his bottom line. Even though he usually doesn't show off his emotions, he can still barely control his anger at this time. This is because of the good character he has developed through years of practicing swordsmanship. Otherwise, other people would have hacked the four people in front of them to death without saying a word. Nami Nokigao looked at this scene in surprise. Flying slash. Still a very scary slash. This blow can cut such a large tree in half vertically and fly far away before disappearing. They had no doubt that this blow could cut off a pirate ship. Is this kind old man actually a terrifying swordsman? I didn't expect that there would be such a master in a place like this. They were a little panicked and didn't know what to do. But Minato said comfortingly at this time. It's okay, Brother Snake will be able to handle it. She wasn't worried at all. This old man was indeed very powerful. Such terrifying slashes were extremely fast, and even she had to be careful when dealing with them, otherwise she would be injured. 
I just felt that my father was right. You should be more careful when walking on the sea. Who would have thought that there would be such a powerful person in the East China Sea? Since he is someone she thinks is powerful, he must be very extraordinary. She should be more careful in the future. Seemingly ordinary people are so powerful. Nami felt a little more at ease. Since Minato said not to worry, then he probably shouldn't. Minato's brother also has very magical abilities. Among the four people, Orochimaru is the one who can understand this blow best. After all, he just missed it. Although it is said that the moment it hits itself, it can cast a substitute technique to resist this kind of damage. He and his father are the only grandmasters of this magical substitute technique in the family. However, this old man is really powerful. It seems that he is not an opponent that can be easily subdued. Of course, there is no need to fight to the death. After all, Kuina's ashes are already in hand, so he can use the dirty earth reincarnation to resurrect him. If he killed this person here, his father would probably blame himself. He looked towards Minato. Minato, please leave first, I will follow you later. Okay. Minato immediately agreed to come out. It seems that Brother Snake is planning to retreat. This is of course a good thing. You can't kill this old man directly. This old man is just a father. She directly squeezed Nami Nokigao's hand and warned. Sisters, close your eyes. I'm going to take you to teleport. Teleporting for the first time is still a little uncomfortable for the human body, especially the eyes. You may feel a sense of dislocation, so it will feel better if you close your eyes. Nokigao and Nami were both shocked. Are they going to use the ability to teleport with them? He quickly closed his eyes. They had all seen Minato's move with their own eyes, it was very magical. It can leap a large distance in an instant. After Minato saw the two of them closing their eyes, he immediately led them to the small boat on the shore using the flying thunder god technique. This place bears the mark of her flying thunder god. Looking at Nami with her eyes closed, and sister Nuauchigao, she breathed a sigh of relief. It seemed that there was nothing serious between them, so she said softly. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Nami Nokigao slowly opened her eyes and saw the sea. Then she looked at the soles of her feet. Isn't this the boat they came from? A look of surprise appeared on his face. This is really amazing. Look at the big mountain in the distance. That is where Kuina is buried. Such a long distance is reached all at once. It didn't take long for me to close my eyes. I just felt like the world was spinning, and as soon as I opened my eyes, I was here. This is really a very convenient method. Nami is a little envious of this method. It would be great if she had this method before. As long as you enter the pirate treasure house, you can teleport out together with the treasure. It's so cool to think about it that way. It's a pity that she will never be a thief again. But that's not necessarily the case, anyway, it's just stealing the pirate's money. It's not a sin at all. The stolen money will not be taken away by Marine. Of course, even if she comes to take it away now, she won't be afraid, because she has Minato as her backer. Unknowingly, she had already regarded Minato as her supporter. It would be great if she was really her daughter. However, in the future, I may really want to be Minato's baby mother. In that case, Minato can be regarded as my daughter, which seems very good. It will definitely be very satisfying if I take Minato with me to rob pirates' treasures in the future. I had this great idea in mind. But this is only a matter of the future. Now I just think about it, resurrecting my mother is the most important thing. Nokigao asked, a little worried about Minato's brother. Is it really okay for your brother to be left alone there? That old man is very scary when he gets angry. Thinking of that blow, what kind of kind old man is this? Much scarier than those ferocious pirates. Minato said waving his hands. It doesn't matter, Brother Snake asked us to leave first. I guess he will retreat soon. On the mountain, Koshiro looked at this scene with some surprise. The little blonde girl seemed to have teleported away with the other two people. I didn't even have time to see clearly what trajectory this was. Is it really teleportation? Could it be the power of the devil fruit? It actually has such a convenient ability. If it had been in the past, he would have thought of making friends with such people to provide talents for the revolutionary army. But now was not the time to care about this. He stared closely at the long-haired boy in front of him. 
Kuina's ashes are still in his hands, as long as this guy doesn't escape. Even the long-haired Orochimaru was stunned. He originally asked Minato to take the other two people away, of course on foot. He would never have thought that she would use the Flying Thunder God technique to lead two people away. This guy Minato actually did this kind of thing, teleporting with two people. This little girl is really unexpected. She must have reached a very advanced level in the art of Flying Thunder God. With two people, the difficulty of teleportation rises straight up. This is the best ninjutsu for little girls. Each of his siblings has abilities that are particularly suited to him. His own special ability is the art of reincarnation. Minato, on the other hand, has the flying thunder god jutsu. Although they are all ninjutsu, he himself also wants to learn the flying thunder god jutsu. It's hard to learn. That's time and space ninjutsu, extremely difficult. So he gave up later. But if he had known better, he would have let Minato take him away with him. Now I can only find a way to leave by myself. He put down the jar in his hand and lay on the ground with his hands. Shouted grimly. The formation of 10,000 snakes. Then he opened his mouth and spit out a large number of snakes from his mouth to bite the old grandfather. The snakes attacked the old grandfather overwhelmingly. Orochimaru picked up the jar and ran. After running for a while. He quickly hid behind a big tree and formed seals with his hands. The art of earth clone. I saw the soil on the ground gradually rising, and then slowly turning into a human shape, gradually turning into his appearance. It's completely consistent with him. This is just a clone technique and has no fighting power. But it's still very useful for luring enemies. Then he ordered his clone to wait in place, and then accelerated to run in the other direction after the grandfather came over. The old man he knew was a powerful swordsman. The huge number of snakes he summoned may not necessarily be able to stop the opponent's pace. Even if it can be stopped, I'm afraid it won't be possible for many seconds. Then, let your earth clone seduce you again, so that you have enough time to run away. Koshiro was shocked when he saw the swarm of snakes in the sky. This guy could actually summon so many snakes. Is there a secret space in his mouth? Looking at the other party again and actually running away, how could he allow the other party to escape? He waved the simple long knife in his hand and swung it vigorously, slashing at the swarm of snakes in the sky. In less than a minute, these lion majesty were hacked to death. Although there are many in number, their strength is quite average. With my own strength, these snakes pose no threat to me. The direction that the man fled should be towards the seaside. He rushed over immediately. He must be intercepted. Not long after, I suddenly saw a figure emerging from behind a big tree, and then headed in another direction. It was the long-haired boy who stole his daughter's ashes. I didn't expect that I would dare to stay here. Before he could make any move, the young man started to run away. Koshiro chased after him, waving the ancient sword in his hand and making flying slashes. That boy was always able to avoid his own slashes. He is truly an extraordinary person, but why would he do such a thing? What would you do with your daughter's ashes? After chasing him for a distance, another flying slash successfully cut the boy in half. The powerful slash even made a long scratch on the ground. Was this young man solved so easily by himself? There is a sense of unreality. It shouldn't be, with the method the other party just used. No matter what, it is impossible to be killed by him so easily. What's going on? He slowly walked towards the boy who had been cut in half. Now we need to find Kuina's ashes and place them so that Kuina can rest in peace. Suddenly the two corpses on the ground turned into dirt. Koshiro stared at this scene blankly, what is going on? How is this possible? Looking at the surrounding environment, there is no urn of Kuina's ashes at all. He realized he had been lied to. I was very angry. Is this a ninja trick like Wano Country? There is a similar clone in Wano country, but it is not so lifelike and it even deceives my own perception. The other party must have let the fake body seduce him, and then fled to the seaside to leave. These people were all outsiders, whom he had never seen before. We must rush over as soon as possible. He immediately put away his knife and turned to the seaside. It was the original direction of escape, but this fake body took him in another direction. Why didn't I even notice this? Was I really too angry? In the past, I shouldn't have been fooled by such a simple trick. 
It seems that Kuina's incident made him extremely angry. At this moment, Orochimaru had already reached the shore and saw Minato, Nami, and Nakigo waiting for him on the boat. Jumped up directly. Set the boat quickly, that old man is really going to catch up. My own clone technique probably won't take much time. If he is discovered, he will definitely pursue him angrily. The top priority, of course, is to leave as soon as possible. He didn't want to fight with the old man, but it wasn't because he didn't have the ability to deal with him. Of course, my own dirty land reincarnation technique has not summoned any talents now. Now his only combat power is a large psychic beast, the giant snake. But when dealing with the great swordsman, I feel like I can handle it. But when I summon One Piece Roger, there is no need to be so embarrassed when dealing with such a guy, you can still retreat calmly. After all, Roger is One Piece, and his strength must be at the top of the world. I'm really looking forward to it. After hearing this, Nami hurriedly sailed the boat. Soon, the boat sailed to the sea. Soon not even the coast was visible. Nami felt relieved now. It's not easy to chase the old man on the sea. At this moment, she felt a little guilty. It is so unethical to harass a father like this. If his daughter could be resurrected, he wouldn't be so angry. She looked towards Orochimaru who was sitting in the boat. Orochimaru, you should be able to resurrect Kuina, right? Now she wants to see the resurrection of the dirty land reincarnation technique, even if it is not a real resurrection. Minato was also looking forward to it. Brother Snake, let me take a look. This resurrection technique is much more magical than my own flying thunder god technique. One is the art of teleportation, and the other is the art of resurrecting the dead. Which one is more magical, needless to say. Even Nuo Chigao looked over with a look of anticipation on his face. If it can really be resurrected, then his mother can also be resurrected. Then the hole in your heart will be completely filled, and your life will be perfect. Of course, you can also find yourself a good partner. This is not only a deal to resurrect the mother, but also has this idea in mind. At her age, she should have had a partner long ago. She should even have a child, but her previous life was unfortunately disrupted by the dragon pirates. Now it's time to get back to normal. Of course, even Orochimaru himself was looking forward to it, with a smile on his face. Okay, then I'll give it a try. He took out a seal scroll, then opened it and formed a seal with his hands. A thick fog formed, and some materials appeared on the scroll. It is the material for the reincarnation of the dirty soil, so naturally it has been prepared a long time ago. There is a white zetsu body inside, which was made by father's pet. Father's pet is much more powerful than his giant snake. It is also possible to create this kind of white magic. Baiju is a kind of bionic human, which is an excellent material for experiments. With great difficulty, he begged his father to give him a few. Used as a vessel to summon the souls of the dead. The strength of the person reincarnated from the filthy soil of this white body is almost the same as that in life. Of course, he could also use living people as vessels for resurrection. It's just that the effect isn't that good. And he will summon one piece Roger later. If he didn't have the strength he had during his lifetime, it would be a great pity. To summon him, of course, he must return at his peak. Now let's try it with Kuina. After preparing the materials, he opened the jar and scattered Kuina's ashes on Baizetsu's body. Nami looked a little surprised at this scene. Is this the special material needed for resurrection? Are there any steps? Nokigao was a little uneasy. Will it succeed or fail? She prayed in her heart that she would succeed. Orochimaru was well prepared, and he was also very excited. This was the first time he used his special ability. If he really succeeds, he will immediately resurrect One Piece Roger. This is the top combat power in the sea. Moreover, such a dead person cannot resist him, and he will not be afraid of Genjutsu. Does that guy Itachi still dare to despise all his ninjutsu? But that's all for later. His hands immediately formed a seal. The art of reincarnation from dirty soil. A soul fell from the sky and entered Baiju's body. Then the filthy soil covered Baiju, causing Baiju to scream in pain. Minato couldn't help but hug Nami. This resurrection technique is a bit scary. After all, she is still just a child. Of course, Nami was also surprised. Isn't this a serious resurrection? Is it a sorcery? 
Nokigel looked at this scene in horror. She really turned into a little girl, wearing a white top, a middle parted hairstyle, and a reddish brown belt tied around her waist. There are several cracks on the face. Kuina slowly opened her eyes. Seeing the people in front of them, they instantly became confused. Who are you? Why am I here? Minato looked at the girl who had turned into a human form and was a head taller than him, and he was no longer so scared and said happily. Brother Snake, did you really revive her? It really worked. Brother Snake's filthy earth reincarnation technique can really bring people back to life. It's really amazing. Orochimaru himself was very excited. This is really awesome, a special ability passed down to him from his father. It should be said to be one of the most magical abilities in this sea. When Nakigao saw this man speaking, he actually came back to life. This is so amazing. In that case, her mother should be able to be resurrected, and her heart would settle down, and she would no longer have the anxiety she had before. Kuina herself was stunned. Did they mean to resurrect herself? I remember that I fell down the stairs before, and I felt extremely severe pain at that time. Did I die at that time? My father must be very sad. But now he seems to have really come back to life, feeling his body carefully. He was not breathing, he touched his chest, and there was no heartbeat, so he immediately panicked. This is not a real resurrection. What kind of magic did you use? Her face changed, and there was anger and fear in her heart. Will she still be manipulated after her death? Orochimaru said with a smile. It's indeed not a true resurrection, but it shouldn't be considered a magic spell. It's just the magical technique of reincarnation from dirty soil that summons your soul back. Minato said comfortingly. Don't worry, father can truly resurrect you, right, brother snake? Kuina was shocked. Is this really okay? She really wants to live, and there are still many things she has not been able to accomplish. Then my father won't be sad anymore. She is the only daughter in the family. Orochimaru responded affirmatively. Of course, my father's ability is of course possible. My father possesses the samsara eye, which is a supreme eye that can truly resurrect the dead and has the ability to control life. Nokiko and Nami both believed it. Although it was not a real resurrection, the magical scene in front of them was enough to make them believe that Minato's father could do such a thing. The two of them looked forward to it more and more. After finding Brother Snake, the next destination should be to go to her family, to meet the father who has magical abilities. This is also their future husband. If they could really resurrect their mother, both of them would marry that person without hesitation. Minato also suggested at this time. Brother Snake, are we going home then? After this trip, she was already very satisfied. If I go home now, I have nothing to regret. She also wanted her father to help Nami resurrect her mother and the little sister in front of her who was a head taller than herself. It would be such a shame to die so young. Orochimaru shook his head and said. No, I still have unfinished business. I have to go to Roger Town, the place where One Piece died. If I can find the bones of One Piece Roger there, then I can successfully resurrect him, and then I will have the strongest fighting force on this sea. It is impossible to become king without the strongest combat power. Thinking about it makes him a little excited. He could even have a good fight with Itachi. I wonder what the expression on Itachi's face would be like. Even if the opponent's genjutsu is invincible, what's the use against a dead person? Not to mention the great fireball technique, even if the violent explosion blew up the body of the reincarnation of the dirt. The reincarnated body of dirty soil can still be recovered. That's right, the reincarnated body of the dirty land has an immortal body. I wonder if he still dares to despise his own ninjutsu. Minato's eyes lit up when he heard this. Brother Snake, you are so awesome, won't One Piece Roger become the fighting force of our family in the future? That would be really cool. Nami Nakigao didn't think so, but felt horrified and said quickly. That's One Piece Roger. Is it really good to resurrect him? Wouldn't such an evil person cause chaos in the world again? It was this man who started the great pirate era. The sentence, I hid all the treasures there, attracted countless people to go to sea to find the legendary secret treasure One Piece. At the same time, the number of pirates suddenly increased. It can be said that all this is One Piece Roger's fault. Even Kuina was stunned, that terrifying One Piece. This name is much louder than the world's greatest swordsman that he pursues. 
If such a person is resurrected, the world will probably be shaken. Orochimaru said nonchalantly. Evil. The people resurrected by me using the art of reincarnation from dirty soil are completely under my control. He admired his father more and more, because his father actually taught him such a powerful ninjutsu. But he also knew that Roger's resurrection would definitely cause the sea to shake. It is one piece Roger after all. That might make his father angry, but he couldn't resist the temptation of this kind of puppet. Such combat power is really quite interesting. Nami Nachi was shocked. Are you actually under its control? Minato's family is too powerful. It's really becoming more and more mysterious and curious. The sea actually hides such a powerful family. Even Kuina was shocked to be able to control One Piece Roger. Then he should be under control now. I have never heard of such a magical ability in the sea before. She didn't know what to think. In fact, what happened today shocked her greatly. Not only has my soul returned to this world, but One Piece's soul will also return to this world soon. It's not a true resurrection, so it's just the return of the soul. She can clearly remember what happened during her lifetime. Nami was completely shocked. What kind of family is this? Where exactly? Minato asked, seeing Nami's expression. Sister Nami, what's wrong with you? Are you shocked? My family is very powerful. Nami was speechless, of course she was shocked. Even One Piece Roger would become the fighting force of the Watergate family, she hesitated before asking. Minato, where is your family? What family is it? Can you tell me? If not, forget it. Nokigao and Kuina, who was reincarnated in the dirt, also looked over. Both of them are curious about what kind of family this is that can control One Piece Roger to become their own family's fighting force. It must be a particularly terrifying family. This may be the most terrifying secret in the entire sea. Minato was stunned for a moment when he heard Nami's sister's words. Even sister Nami still hesitated because her father had ordered her children not to reveal their family name. She looked at Brother Snake. Is this okay? Orochimaru said expressionlessly. Since I am my future baby mother, of course I can go with her to the family island this time. Anyway, if their father hadn't accepted them, their memories could still be erased. After Minato heard this, he thought it made sense and said with a smile. Sister Nami, my family is located on an island in the windless zone of the Great Seaway. My family is the Estrella family. And my full name is Minato Estrella. Orochimaru also introduced himself. My full name is Orochimaru Estrella. Both are proud of their families. That's natural. Their family is the most secretive family in the sea, although they usually don't show off. That was just my father's order, to hide the family. Nami, Nokigao, and Kuina have a certain understanding. I have never heard of any family located in the windless zone. No wonder its reputation has faded. Almost no ships can cross the windless zone. There is no wind there, making it difficult for a sailboat to sail. There are also many Poseidon species, which can be said to be an extremely dangerous place. It is indeed a very mysterious family. It seems that there are really many secrets in the sea. Orochimaru looked at Minato now. By the way, how did you get out? Did you go directly through the windless zone? Even Nami looked shocked. Did Minato cross the windless zone and reach the East China Sea? This shocked her even more than when she killed Eren. If a small boat sails in a windless zone, there is a high probability that it will be swallowed by Poseidon species. There are only so many Poseidon species there. Minato recalled his experience of crossing the windless zone and nodded. Yes, it was dangerous at that time. Many big fish jumped out of the water and wanted to eat me. Fortunately, I used the flying thunder god technique to teleport with the boat. Thrilling and exciting. Nami Nachi Gao Kuina is stunned. Do you actually find it thrilling? This is such a dangerous scene. Even if it's just a second away, you may be buried in the belly of the fish. Kuina was really surprised that this little girl who was a head shorter than herself was so strong and could actually cross the windless zone safely. What kind of ability is that flying thunder god's technique to be able to teleport? This is really a mysterious family. It seems that I can truly be resurrected. I just have a little question, why did you resurrect yourself? Even Orochimaru was shocked. His sister's ability to use the flying thunder god was really perfect. It really suits this ninjutsu very well. 
but he still needed to warn him. Minato, if you come out in the future, don't directly cross the calm wind and take it to the East China Sea. Instead, we should first go to the nearest Great Waterway, and then go to the East China Sea through the Upside Down Mountain. This route is much safer. Although he also has the ability to pass through the windless zone, that is to summon a giant snake. But even if the psychic beast he summons is much stronger than the Poseidon type, then he will be very embarrassed. Who knows how many Poseidon species there are in the windless zone. So he took the safer route. He was a little scared thinking about this. This guy Minato's route is really too dangerous. God knows how many times I have used the flying thunder god technique. If anything dangerous happened, I would not be able to be hung up by my father. Minato saw his brother's expression and knew he was wrong. Okay, brother, let's go with him this time. Next time I come to the East China Sea from my family, I will know the route. Orochimaru felt relieved after hearing this. It seems that the little girl is still very sensible. The boat then accelerated towards Rog Town. Of course Orochimaru can't wait to resurrect One Piece Roger. One day later, a fast-moving boat appeared on the sea. On it was a young man with short black hair and white clothes, with two green tears on his face, and a sword at his waist. Standing quietly on the boat, the boat just turned on its own without wind. Suddenly, he saw two people on a small boat in the distance. The indifferent expression became a little looser. Finally found my sister. I had previously asked a group of pirates to find out where my sister was, and then set out with all my strength to find Koko Nishi village. Unexpectedly, I was told to go to Shimotsuki village. I felt depressed. I was looking for a new place again. I had no idea where it was, but now I was so lucky that I happened upon it. The driver of the boat opposite is of course Nami. Her navigation skills are the best, so she naturally takes over this responsibility. Then he saw the man on the boat approaching quickly and was a little surprised. She then woke up Minato who was sleeping in Nokigao's arms. Minato is really a little guy, he likes to lie in Nokigao's arms. Minato, wake up, that person can't be your brother, right? She heard Minato say that. One of them was named Ulkiora. This appearance was so similar to the one Minato described. The most important thing is this indifferent temperament, which looks a bit scary, and you can tell at a glance that he is not someone to be trifled with. Most likely he is Minato's brother. Minato once said that her brother could cut off Poseidons with one sword. Orochimaru, who was also sleeping soundly, woke up with a start. The golden pupil stood up and looked at the figure on the small boat in the distance. It's really this brother. This brother rarely goes to sea. Could it be that he was sent by his father? In that case, things would be a bit bad. I don't know what my father's attitude is. It might not be a big deal if I sneak out, but Minato is following me and I have a headache. Minato also woke up in a daze and opened his eyes. There was a smile on his face and he shouted happily. It's really my brother. Kuina looked curiously at the man who was getting closer and closer. He was older than herself and seemed to be a master with a sword. Much stronger than her, that's how Kuina feels. The boy opposite looked like a master. It's completely natural, not pretended. After a while, Ulkiora arrived in a small boat. Minato asked happily. Brother, how did you find us? You must know that if she went to sea, without the help of sister Nami, even if she knew brother Snake's destination. Shimotsuki village is also difficult to find. The East China Sea is so huge that she doesn't know any of these places. Ulkiora said calmly. I learned about your whereabouts from a group of pirates. Nami asked in surprise. Are those pirates the straw hat pirates? Only those people know where they and others are going. Ulkiora nodded, remembering that there seemed to be one person in the group wearing a straw hat. Then he turned to look at Minato. Who are these people? Minato introduced happily. This is sister Nami and sister Nuauchigao. This is the baby mother I'm looking for. Nami Nakiko blushed a little. Is this how you introduce yourself? I always feel a little embarrassed. It was as if he had been abducted. Obviously they are all voluntary now. Ulkiora's indifferent expression was a bit dull, this little girl. Forget it, he doesn't care about this kind of thing. Minato continued to ask. Brother Wu, is there a green-haired man on that small boat who wants to challenge you for a kendo duel? Have you knocked him down? Ulkiora nodded. 
There is indeed a guy with green hair who asked me to compete in swordsmanship. He is quite weak. For your sake, I agreed. Minato looked like that was indeed the case. But you didn't hurt him, right? Nami also became concerned. Although her friendship with Zoro is very shallow, she doesn't want her former partner to be fatally injured. Wukiora said calmly. Don't worry, I didn't hurt them. I defeated them and left. Nami felt relieved instantly. Kuina was stunned. They should be talking about Zoro, she talked to Nami on the ship. It's now 10 years since her death. So this guy Zoro is completely grown up. I never expected to go to sea and become a pirate. Before that, I became a famous pirate hunter in the East China Sea. He even dared to fight against the world's greatest swordsman, Hawkeye. It really suits Zoro's style. Even if he could really be resurrected, he would have been delayed for 10 years. Zoro is undoubtedly much stronger than himself now. He still looks like a child. At this time, Wukiora looked at Orochimaru who was silent and his expression became even more indifferent. Orochimaru, do you realize your mistake? Orochimaru is very helpless, this is his brother with virtual abilities, and his strength is much stronger than him. I know I was wrong. Minato's expression turned bad and he said hurriedly. This is all because I followed Brother Snake out without permission. It's none of Brother Snake's business. My father won't be very angry, right? Wukiora looked at her and confirmed. Of course you are angry. With your strength and your character, it is too early to go to sea. Please come back with me obediently, so as not to worry your father. Nami feels the same way. Minato was indeed easily deceived. Although he was very strong, it would be really bad if he met another woman instead of her. If you are cheated, you will probably have to count the money. But what she didn't know was that even though Minato was a child, he still had a very good eye for people. How could he be deceived so easily? When Minato heard his brother's words, of course he didn't want to. No, I still want to go to Rog Town with my brother. That was the execution place of One Piece, a place she had never been to. She also wants to see the powerful combat power of One Piece Roger summoned by her brother. Wukiora frowned. Obey, this is my father's order. Minato hid directly behind Nokigao. No, just let me go. After this trip, I will go back obediently. Wukiora looked helpless at Minato like this. Okay, I have to go back after that. Orochimaru, Minato is under your protection. If something happens, you should know the consequences. Orochimaru responded quickly. Don't worry, I will. Minato was a little happy that he didn't put the blame entirely on him after the accident. After Ulkiora heard this, he turned around and controlled his boat to leave. With Orochimaru's protection, Minato should be fine. After Ulkiora left, the small boat set off towards Rog Town again. Orochimaru also has an extra thought, which is of course to protect his sister and never let her get hurt. If you get injured, you will definitely be the one to die. The younger sister is not only favored by her father, but also the most favored among her brothers and sisters. At that time, those brothers and sisters may cause trouble for me. And among his brothers and sisters, even if he resurrected One Piece Roger. I'm afraid it won't be easy to deal with it. Because some of them are forces from another system. Even above the ninja system. There is also the Shinigami system and the virtual system. It was very terrifying, but it was a pity that I could not inherit that kind of power. But he thinks ninjutsu is very good. Of course, it's not impossible for ninjutsu to achieve power comparable to theirs if they practice to the extreme. Obtaining the samsara I can rival that kind of power. The boat set off quickly, and with Nami's navigation, the direction was absolutely correct. One day later, a huge pirate ship appeared on the sea, with a clown's skull flag hanging on it. It is the skull flag of the seven warlords of the Sea Doflamingo Pirates. After passing the upside down mountain and entering the East China Sea. This is the weakest sea, not only are the pirates weak, but even the marines are weak. To defeat these weak pirates, naturally you don't need to use a powerful marine. The goal of this trip is naturally to come to the East China Sea to search for some female slaves and return them. After all, the Don Quixote family is in the business of human trafficking, and this is a purchase trip. It should go as smoothly as usual. The leader was none other than Torbal, a member of the Don Quixote family who wore a quilt-like cloak, 
held a cane with a plum blossom symbol, and wore a pair of small sunglasses. His bounty is 99 million belly. The bounty is five times that of Aaron, the great pirate in the East China Sea, who has 18 million belly. It can be seen that it is powerful and can be said to be unbeatable in the East China Sea. Of course, the head of the Don Quixote family, Da Flamingo, is one of the Shichabukai, a legal pirate recognized by the world government, and has been given special rights. Normally, Marine would have nothing to do with him, but Torebel decided to be careful and not make it look too ugly. Arousing Marine's anger. Of course, it's also because the East China Sea Log Town is commanded by Colonel Smoker from Marine Headquarters. This is not a simple guy, possessing the ability of the Logia Devil Fruit. Naturally, slaves cannot be plundered in the senior rog town. This guy is very rigid, and I'm afraid he won't even give the Don Quixote family face. There is really no point in fighting with such a person. Anyway, the East China Sea is very big, and there are places to purchase goods everywhere. Just stay away. No one can stop it at all. As long as you have clean hands and feet, you can build two or three villages. And these will be regarded as the work of local pirates. Anyway, after Roger started the era of great pirates, there were so many pirates. Pirates attacked villages from time to time. I have to say that Roger really helped the Don Quixote family a lot. The more chaotic this world is, the better. Once you succeed, you can go back safely. Naturally, no one dares to check, not even Smoker is qualified. After returning to the Sabayati Islands, these slaves can be sold, which is another considerable income. In the cabin, Torebel looked at the map of the East China Sea that he had already prepared, trying to find a few large villages to plunder the population. The cabin door opened. A subordinate walked into the cabin and reported. Sir Torbal, there is a small boat right in front of you, and there are two very decent women on it. I wonder if you should do anything to them. Although he also knew the purpose of this trip, he was just a soldier. If he didn't dare to make the decision without permission, he would naturally have to report it as soon as possible. Don Quixote's family has a clear hierarchy, and he doesn't dare to make decisions without authorization, even if this is a very good opportunity. Torbal had a smile on his face after hearing this. How lucky are you on this trip? As soon as I arrived in the East China Sea, goods were delivered to my door. I stood up and walked out of the cabin. I want to see how upright these people are. The subordinates followed behind and said flatteringly. Sir, I guarantee that you will be satisfied. He looks very spot on, and he is also very young. Torbal became even more interested. It seemed that his luck was really good. Having been with his subordinates for such a long time, he still knows the requirements, and the goods must of course be of good quality. Those who are not good can only be treated as slaves and cannot be sold for much money. But the right ones can be sold to big pirates, nobles and wealthy businessmen, and even the celestial dragons. It can be sold at a high price. After a while, Torbal came to the deck with this subordinate. The subordinate wisely took out the telescope and handed it to Torbal so that he could see more clearly. Torbal took it and started looking at it. He couldn't help but say happily. This young girl with orange hair and wearing a blue and white top is really good looking and very energetic. The other dark-skinned woman wearing a blue top is also very good looking and looks completely mature. Although they have dark skin, their faces are very good. Some people in the sea like women with this skin color. These two women can undoubtedly be sold at a very good price. There is also a little girl with blonde hair on the boat, who looks a bit heroic. Of course, this lowly can be sold for a good price. Some people just like this. There is no shortage of buyers. It can be sold to some noble pirates who like lowly, some of them just like this. In a sense, this is also high-end goods. Of course, there is also a long-haired boy who looks very good. Some ladies like this. There is another girl who looks lifeless. Is there any scar on her face? Such a child has no value. He took out the telescope and admired. Very good, you did a very good job. The four people above are all high-end goods. I will record this credit for you. Then he immediately ordered people to sail to the small boat in the distance. On the boat at this moment, Orochimaru was also excited. We will be able to reach Roger Town soon. I wonder if Roger's body and ashes can be found. Of course he hoped that Roger's cemetery would be in Roger Town. However, 
he also had to take protective measures, because if Roger was resurrected, he might not obey him obediently because of his One Piece spirit. Therefore, preventive measures must be taken as early as possible, that is, to control it, and even erase his soul if necessary. It is also quite good to use it as a puppet in battle. Whether it's an inexhaustible physical strength or an indestructible body, it's very terrifying. Nami, who suddenly steered the boat forward, noticed the original situation. A pirate ship is approaching us. After Orochimaru heard this, his golden pupils narrowed. That's a pirate ship with a skull flag hanging on it. What is it if it's not a pirate? Of course, these people would not have good intentions when approaching themselves. That's really exciting. He also has the psychic beast giant snake, which has yet to show its strength in the outside world. Then you can put it out and try it out. Nami felt a little frightened when she saw Orochimaru's dangerous aura. Orochimaru is really scarier than Minato. No wonder Minato usually looks very innocent and cute, but when he moves, he shows no mercy. It turns out that she learned it from these brothers of hers. But it doesn't matter. Walking on the sea, if you are too naive, you may be the only one who gets hurt. She had nothing to worry about now about the giant pirate ship arriving. In the past, I might have been worried, but now I feel like it's nothing. After all, Minato and her brother were there. Both of them are quite strong and are not afraid of any pirates at all. The father of Kuina last time was probably a great swordsman. After all, he was able to wield such a terrifying flying slash. There is no doubt that the great sword has first-class combat power in this world. Orochimaru was even able to escape safely from the hands of that kind old swordsman. It shows that his strength is very strong. At least among the pirates in the East China Sea, no one can compete with him. After a while, the huge pirate ship came completely close, and then stopped. Torbal stood on the deck and looked at these fine goods. The more he looked at them, the better they looked, and the closer they looked, the better they looked. These four guys are definitely high-end goods. As long as they dress up a little bit, they can definitely greatly increase their worth. This is the auction house method. By increasing the value of the product, you can sell it at a higher price. After all, the majority of the auction house's profits are made by wealthy merchants and nobles, and they don't care about the price when they pay. Tens of millions or even 100 million baileys can be taken out casually. With a lewd smile on his face, he looked at Nami and Nokigao on the boat. Would you two ladies be willing to come aboard our ship? In his eyes, two women taking three children out to sea are really too big-hearted, but that's how big-hearted it is. Otherwise, how could he be so lucky to obtain four excellent products? Nami immediately refused. I don't want a pirate's ship. Torbal did not feel any disappointment, but burst into laughter. I'm afraid it's not up to you. I am Torebel, the top leader of the Don Quixote family. You can't run away. Become a commodity in the auction house. In his eyes, there are just two little women and three children. How can they get away with this? He couldn't run away at all, so he was very happy that he could bring a good product to the family again. Nami was stunned for a moment, the Don Quixote family. By the way, she remembered, isn't that clown flag the symbol of the seven warlords of the Sea Da Flamingo family? How could they appear here? They are one of the major forces on the Great Channel. Minato was a little confused. Sister Nami, is the Don Quixote family strong? Torebel was a little surprised when he heard this and laughed. You people in the East China Sea are so ignorant that you haven't even heard of Da Flamingo, one of the Shichibukai Seas. That's right. After all, it's a rural place. Nami asked aloud. Don Quixote family, did Da Flamingo come in person? Torbal was a little stunned. What did he mean by this? Of course the young master is not here. You don't think you can escape from me, the top cadre, do you? The people on the pirate ship had a mocking smile on their faces. If these people can escape, I will cut off their heads. It's just two women, what kind of fighting power can they have? Are those three children still capable of fighting? Yes, even if there are some talented penultimate kids. It can't be in the East China Sea, but in other seas. But even if there are other talented children from Dahai, they will never be able to beat Torbal. Torebel is one of the top cadres, with penultimate combat power. The bounty is as high as 99 million belly. 
His devil fruit ability can make powerful people unable to move at all after being struck by it. Nami was completely relieved. Since Da Flamingo, one of the Shichibukai, is not coming, there is no pressure anymore. After all, Da Flamingo is one of the great pirates of the Great Channel, and his strength is very terrifying, comparable to that of a great swordsman, or even stronger. She touched Minato's head and said, The only one who is strong in the Don Quixote family is Da Flamingo. Others are no threat at all. This was her confidence in Minato and his brother. Torbal was completely angry. The people from Shaodonghai actually dare to look down on the top cadres of Don Quixote. You guys are really arrogant. Come here, arrest these people and let them understand what cruelty is. Immediately, several people jumped off the boat to arrest Nami and others. In their eyes, they are strong men. When facing two women and children, is it necessary to use firearms? Of course it's impossible to use firearms. This is a good product that Mr. Torebel considers good. If it is damaged, they will be the ones who should be punished. Orochimaru had a dangerous smile on his face. It's really asking for death. Today I will let you taste the power of my psychic beast. He formed a seal with his hands, then slammed it onto the surface of the ship, and a huge magic circle appeared. Then a huge cloud of white smoke was produced. A huge snake appeared out of thin air. Its huge body is even much taller than a pirate ship. Judging from the body shape, it is more than 100 meters long. The pirates were all a little shocked. What kind of monster is this? Poseidon type. How can there be such a big Poseidon in the East China Sea? You're kidding. That's not the point. Why did this big guy suddenly appear? They didn't see the monster appear at all, it seemed to appear suddenly. But now they are standing next to the pirate ship, and there is no room for them not to be afraid. The destructive power of the Poseidon class is very strong. If they launch an attack, many people on their pirate ship will die. Even Torebel was horrified. Could it be this boy who did it? Is this the ability to summon the Poseidon class? Never heard of such ability. But it's just a Poseidon, he looked at the messy subordinates around him and scolded. It's just Poseidon, I can handle it. Nami Nokigao Kuina on the ship was also shocked. Is this Orochimaru's special ability? It was really amazing. They were all frightened when they saw such a monster. Fortunately, it was not here to deal with them. Nami just felt happy in her heart at this moment. These pirates are gone. Who dared them to take advantage of themselves and others? These legal pirates have done countless evil things. Under the attack of such a terrifying giant snake, it should disappear quickly. Orochimaru laughed when he heard that the other party did not put his psychic hand in his eyes. Don't compare the weak Poseidons to my psychic beasts. They are completely different creatures. Compared with the Poseidon type, the giant snake has more powerful abilities and is a creature with chakra. In his opinion, the Poseidons in this world only have strange powers and no special abilities. Torbal asked with an ugly expression on his face. What do you mean by that? He felt a little uneasy. This monster called the psychic beast gave him a different feeling from the previous Poseidon type. More powerful. It even made him feel afraid. Orochimaru didn't explain any more, there was no need to reveal too much to the dying person. At this time, the giant snake spit out human words. Orochimaru, why did you summon me? He was very dissatisfied and had previously allowed himself to fight with his older siblings. Is this a joke? It is controlled as soon as you meet it, it is completely controlled. The eyes are very scary. There are others who cannot withstand that kind of slash even with their own defense. It hurt like hell. Orochimaru said with a smile. Don't worry, we are just dealing with these ordinary people and kill them all. Torebel was completely shocked when he heard the psychic beast speaking human language. Could it be a Poseidon that ate a devil fruit? Otherwise, how can one speak human words? But even so, why is it so difficult to eliminate the Poseidon class? This feeling of fear must be an illusion. The giant snake looked at the humans on the boat at this time. There were many, many of them, and these were all delicious food. Orochimaru, I shouldn't have any problem eating these humans, right? Orochimaru said coldly. If you want to eat it, then go ahead and eat it, but when father knows about it, I won't plead for you. When this giant snake was summoned, it wanted to eat people before it would do anything. His father immediately beat him up. 
Maybe my father doesn't like psychic beasts eating people. The giant snake thought of the terrifying man. Both eyes showed a look of fear. Have no choice. Okay, I don't have to do it if I don't want to. Let's finish the work and go back early. Torbal was furious when he heard what the big snake said. He actually regards them as food, just a Poseidon. Others are afraid of him, but he is not afraid of him. Although this boy said it was not Poseidon type, but he said it wasn't, right? At most, you have to eat a devil fruit to be able to speak human words. Do you really have any special abilities? The facts are before our eyes. He roared. Let me shoot him to death, and then capture these people. Immediately, some subordinates took out artillery, then lit the fuse and fired the shells at the Poseidon. Suddenly there was a constant roar. It is obvious that such a giant snake cannot be solved with just a few shells. At the same time, someone else took out a long gun and pulled the trigger, firing bullets with bang bang bang, which also hit the giant snake. These weapons of theirs are all sophisticated weapons of the beast pirates, and they are extremely powerful. This giant snake will definitely be killed directly. The giant snake was violently attacked, felt a little pain all over, and roared angrily. You humans dare to hurt me. It has already shown murderous intent. The huge tail curled up, flew into the air, and then slammed towards the pirate ship. Many pirates were shocked when they saw this scene. How could it be possible? After the explosion smoke dissipated, the giant snake was not seriously injured at all. It only left some traces of gunpowder on its hard scales. This defense is too strong. If the attack just hit other Poseidons, the weak Poseidons would be killed directly, and even the powerful Poseidons would be seriously injured, with blood dripping from the wounds, and then run away. It's not like the person in front of him, who becomes even more ferocious after being attacked. What kind of monster is this? Torebel was also extremely surprised. Is this really a monster? Isn't it really a Poseidon? If that huge snake tail falls on this pirate ship, the pirate ship will definitely be cut in half. This blow must not be allowed to fall. Because he is also a devil fruit user, if he falls into the water, he will die immediately. He directly activated his devil fruit ability. A thick brown moist mucus oozed from the nose, and then the mucus turned into a huge white blade, which shot towards the huge snake tail at a terrifying speed. The snot takes away the sword. His attack was much more powerful than the artillery attack. He hoped to be able to cut off the giant snake. But even such a slash could not break the giant snake's defense, it only made the snakes roar even more angrily. The force of the tail whipping the pirate ship became even more powerful. Torebel was shocked. How can the body of the Poseidon class be so strong? This has never been seen before on the Poseidon class. Is this really the Poseidon class? What kind of ghostly creature is this psychic beast? At this moment, the huge snake's tail had hit the middle of the pirate ship. A cracking sound sounded. The pirate ship brutally broke into two halves. Countless pirates fell on the sea, struggled and panicked. Of course, some were directly smashed to death by the huge snake tail. As the pirate ship shattered and sank into the water, the water surface began to roll. Nami left early by boat. She looked at this scene in surprise. The destructive power was really strong. Next, several people on the boat saw an even more horrifying scene. The giant snake not only destroyed the pirate ship, but also killed the pirates, biting them to death one by one. There were cries and shouts from the sea. But the few people on board didn't have any sympathy. Because these pirates want to use them as auction items, isn't that human trafficking? How miserable the outcome will be in the future. Ten minutes later, the sea calmed down completely, leaving only some broken boards, and the pirate ship was completely destroyed. The sea surface is also covered with bright red areas, which are dyed red by blood. These pirates were all wiped out. Of course, there are still corpses floating on the sea that were bitten by giant snakes. It didn't dare to eat these people. The giant snake still remembered what the scary person said. If you dare to eat people, I'll kill you. Of course it doesn't want to die. After doing all this, the giant snake swam over. Orochimaru had a smile on his face. Well done. The giant snake snorted coldly. The matter is done, I'm leaving. Not only did it take a beating, but its efforts were in vain. Then it turned into a ball of smoke and disappeared. Nami, Nokigao, and Kuina were even more surprised when they saw this scene. 
It actually disappeared with a bang, which is really a magical ability. If it weren't for the scene we just saw, there would also be the pirate ship broken into pieces in the distance. They will all wonder if there is something wrong with their eyes. Minato's older brother Orochimaru is indeed very powerful. This time he killed the top leader of the Don Quixote family. Nami is not at all worried about the seven warlords of the Sea Da Flamingo's revenge. In the past, I would have been extremely worried and afraid of the revenge of these big shots. After all, the Don Quixote family is one of the great forces in the Grand Line, and Da Flamingo is not comparable to ordinary great pirates. But with Orochimaru's terrifying abilities, let alone the abilities of Minato's other brothers. It's too strong. In terms of combat power, it is probably much stronger than the Don Quixote family. Nami thought that there must be a reward for the top leader of the Don Quixote family. I wonder if I can get the bounty by picking up the body and taking it to the marine base. The top cadres must be very valuable. But looking at such a tragic situation, she was very sick to her stomach. Before, she only stole pirate treasures. She didn't hunt pirates, and she didn't have the ability to hunt pirates. After thinking about it for a while, she finally gave it up. Although she loved money, Torbol's body was not easy to get rid of. There's Minato on the ship, and I don't know if she can bear it. Forget it. At this time, Minato looked at his snake brother in surprise. This is necromancy, it can summon creatures from other worlds. She didn't have any psychic skills. Just the flying thunder god technique, Rasengan, had already taken her a lot of time to learn. Even if she is extremely talented, she still needs time to learn. Moreover, her father asked her to learn the art of flying thunder god carefully. After all, it is time and space ninjutsu. If you don't learn it well, the danger is still very serious. It may fall into other spaces. Orochimaru realized that his sister did not know necromancy. This was a very normal situation. After all, she was too young and had no time to be exposed to this kind of ninjutsu. He said with a smile. Actually, you can ask your father to find a psychic beast for you, and then sign a contract with the psychic beast to summon it. With his father's ability, he can easily find the psychic beast. If you want to give Minato a psychic beast, it must be powerful. Only in this way can Minato be protected, and powerful psychic beasts are undoubtedly very arrogant and even cruel. It's not that easy to sign a contract. But my father could have used force to get them to agree. And Minato's eyes lit up. Then after I go back this time, I will ask my father to give me a psychic beast. After all, I brought Sister Nami and Sister Nuauchigao back this time. These words awakened Orochimaru. I wonder if I can find one or two pretty women in Rog Town. Of course, people like Nokigao and Nami are required, otherwise my father will not like them. This time I not only want to resurrect Roger, but also collect beautiful women. After all, these are the last few towns. Of course there is a town on Upside Down Mountain. However, there are very few quality women there. You have to try your best to find it in Rog Town. Nokigao, Nami, and Kuina had a conversation, and they understood. It turned out to be spiritualism. Is it really magical? Can it summon creatures from other worlds? Orochimaru shouted to Nami at this time. Nami, let's sail the boat. Nami hasn't married her father yet, so naturally she can't be considered a baby mother. After hearing this, Nami immediately set sail without any hesitation. After half a day, they successfully arrived at the coast of Rog Town. After parking the boat, Nami, Nokigao, and Minato are all preparing to go sightseeing in Rogue Town on the island. Kuina herself is also curious about the place of execution of One Piece. She had never been here before when she was little. She looked at several people. Can I go too? After all, she is just a dead person now and is not truly resurrected. Minato was definitely authentic. Of course you can, right? Brother Snake. This is someone about the same age as herself, and she still sympathizes with Kuina a little. Orochimaru nodded. Sure. Although his father valued this swordsman genius very much, according to his observation, he did not have much fighting power, so he naturally did not take it as his own. This is just to make my father happy. And he himself had important things to do. That is to find the grave of One Piece Roger and take out his remaining body parts. 
Minato said happily. Okay, Brother Snake. The other three people also knew that he was going to find One Piece Roger's grave. The King of the Sea is probably going to be resurrected. Then there will be huge waves on the sea. But with the ability of Minato's family, it should be able to solve it. None of them felt that they could stop each other. Nami Nakiko is just a weak woman. Minato took sister Nami and got off the boat, followed by Nokigao and Kuina. The two also wanted to look around and do some sightseeing. Just after the four of them passed by the crowded crowd. Several passers-by noticed the little girl with golden hair, and their eyes were instantly surprised. It turned out to be the pirate with a bounty of 10 million baileys, and he even killed Colonel Marine. It's unbelievable that he can be so cruel at such a young age. But being brave enough to come to Rog Town is really arrogant. This place is guarded by Marine Colonel Smoker. Any pirate who comes will be brought to justice. One of them walked quickly towards the Marine base on the island. Gotta break the news to Smoker. In that case, he will also get a reward. Although not as much as the bounty. Nami and the other four did not notice such a change. After all, there are too many people on the island. This is a very prosperous town in the East China Sea. Of course, Nami and the others also need to replenish supplies. Everything they brought out before is almost used up. The ordinary man who saw Minato appearing quickly arrived at the marine base. After communicating with the soldiers at the base gate, I was released and went to the colonel's office. Sitting in the office was a middle-aged man with silvery white hair and smoking a cigar. Looking at the person coming, he said calmly. What's the matter? Colonel Smoker, I discovered the little blonde girl pirate who killed a colonel and had a bounty of 10 million baileys. She has arrived in rogue town. Smoker and Dasky in the room were stunned. Dasky was a little surprised. Colonel Smoker was really right, such a person would not stay in the East China Sea for a long time. It seems that they want to leave the East China Sea through Upside Down Mountain. Dusky looked at the colonel. Colonel Smoker, are you going to arrest him? This is the person specially assigned by General He Zhang to imprison him and then let him join Marine. Smoker stood up from his chair with a deadpan expression. Of course, let's go, you lead the way. Although he didn't want to catch the little girl, he actually didn't commit anything. But this is after all a request from the higher ups, and even more so from Lieutenant General He. Just lock him up and let him join the Marines. Naturally, he would not treat her like those ferocious pirates. And then the messenger said with a smile. Colonel Smoker, where is my reward? Smoker looked at him expressionlessly. Don't worry, I won't miss you. There are often some pirates who enter Rog Town mixed with the crowd. Without these people reporting, the pirates really get away with it here. Come and see what they call their holy place. The place where Roger was finally executed has turned into a landscape. Okay, then I'll take you there right away. The man who reported the news was very satisfied. Smoker would definitely not owe him anything. This is a pretty good income, it's better than nothing. After all, he himself did not have the ability to capture such a vicious pirate. On the other side, Kuina, Nami, Nokigao, and Minato were walking on the streets of Rogue Town. Several people have already purchased some necessities of life. And Minato kept looking at everything around her, everything was very novel to her. Although it is not as luxurious as her family's manner, it is very lively here, with many street shops selling some novel gadgets. The same goes for Kuina. She has never been out of Shimotsuki village. How has she ever seen such a prosperous town? But it's a pity that she didn't really come back to life. In fact, I don't feel anything now. At this moment, a man with green hair and three knives on his waist came over. None other than Zoro of the Straw Hat Pirates. He got two swords in a weapons store, Yuki Kakeru, and third generation Kidetsu. So there are three more knives. He is in a good mood now. That third generation ghost sword is a demon sword. But I seem to have conquered it. When the straw hat pirates came to rogue town, they were naturally prepared to stay for a few days. Buy supplies. After all, rogue town is the last supply point to enter the great channel. Then pass the upside down mountain and enter the first half of the great waterway. Today we are ready to go. One last day to spend some time wandering around. But at this moment, his eyes were completely stunned. Because he saw a little girl wearing a white top and reddish brown pants. How is this possible? 
He was stunned. Isn't this Kuina as a child? This figure never left his mind. The person who agreed with him to become the world's best swordsman is his competitor. Someone whose talent in swordsmanship is far greater than his own. But isn't she already dead? How could he be standing here alive? I must be dazzled. He immediately closed his eyes, then opened them again, and then he saw the same person clearly, it was Kuina. Still can't believe it. You must know that Kuina died after falling down the stairs. He had seen Kuina covered with white cloth with his own eyes. He died so simply. It was unimaginable that such a powerful person could die like this. At that time, I was completely heartbroken. Could it be that I am dreaming now? Otherwise, how could we meet Kuina? He slapped himself hard, with all his strength. Then I felt a burning pain in my face. If you look at that figure again, it's the same figure, and you feel pain, it's not a dream at all. And the people around him were also looking at him. Why did this man slap himself so suddenly? Is he sick? But none of them dared to laugh at this man. That was because he had three knives on his waist. Such a person is not easy to mess with at first sight. This loud slap caught Kuina's eyes. There was a surprised expression on his face. Could this be the grown-up Zoro? It's unmistakable, that green hair and this completely enlarged version of Zoro is a child. She just watched quietly. I made a promise with him that we would become great swordsmen together, but I died so early. I feel a little ashamed of him. Zoro saw Kuina's gaze, that familiar gaze, yes, the other party knew him. Now he saw that there were Nami, Nokigao, Minato and others around him. What on earth was going on? He stepped forward quickly. Kuina looked at Zoro. Zoro. Zoro couldn't hide his excitement. It turned out to be Kuina, and the voice was unmistakable. But how could it be? How could she come back to life? She was obviously dead at that time, and she was puzzled. Kuina, what happened? How did you survive? Nami and Nokigao also noticed Zoro. I didn't expect to meet him here. Luffy and the others should be preparing to enter the Grand Channel from here. They are unable to cross the Windless Zone. Not everyone can cross the Windless Zone. Minato felt bad and quickly came to Kuina's side and said. Explain in a low voice. You can't reveal the resurrection. It will cause chaos. Resurrection is definitely the most magical thing on the sea. The ability to control life and death will definitely attract the attention of many people. Kuina understood and said as she approached Zoro. Calm down, don't be too surprised. Actually, I was resurrected by Minato's brother Orochimaru. Of course, it's just a soul resurrection now. I will go to his family to get a real resurrection later. Don't let anyone know about this. Zoro looked surprised. Doesn't this surprise him? But he still controlled himself and didn't make any noise. He couldn't hide the excitement in his heart. He didn't expect that he could even control life and death. The fact was right in front of him, and he couldn't help but not believe it. His body was shaking continuously, but he suppressed it. He was extremely happy, he didn't expect Minato's brother to be able to do such a thing. Right, you can't let other people know about this kind of thing. Zoro only feels extremely happy now that his former partner is alive. This completely made up for the regrets in his life. He looked at Kuina. Does master know about your resurrection? Kuina shook her head. I haven't seen him yet. I will go back to see my father after I am truly resurrected. The master Zoro talks about is naturally her father Koshiro. If his father saw him, he would be very happy. Then she looked at Zoro and admired. Zoro, I learned from Nami that you actually dueled with the world's greatest swordsman, Hawkeye, and you did a good job. A childhood dream. To her, it was just yesterday, but Zoro was actually already standing on this stage. In fact, this is just a whimsical dream of two children in a village. Yes, even if she had this dream, it was just a dream. If you look at it realistically, you will know how distant a dream it is. Zoro smiled helplessly. This is nothing to be proud of at all. After all, the gap is so big that you can't even see what the gap is. He was defeated by a small knife, and even the opponent used a small knife because he did not have a smaller knife. At this moment, the crowd surged because Colonel Smoker came with a group of Marines. Under the leadership of the person who reported the news, Minato and others were found. Smoker looked over and saw the little girl with blonde hair. Was this the little girl who killed a Marine colonel? Did she also kill Aaron? 
Interesting. He held out his finger. That little blonde girl, there's a bounty of 10 million baileys for killing Colonel Marine, so just go ahead and capture her. Nokigao and Nami were both stunned. Is there actually a bounty on Minato? Is it because of killing Colonel Marine? But how is this possible? Nochigao explained quickly. I should have reported Colonel Rat of the Marine Corps to collude with pirates. This should be regarded as innocent. How come there is a reward on his head? The crowd around them was a little excited. They were really shocked by the news. What? Marine actually colluded with pirates. This is so shameless. Yeah, Marine is too corrupt. This little blonde girl is innocent, right? Don't listen to one side of the story, listen to what Colonel Smoker said, right? Smoker felt very helpless. Make it difficult for him. Although he knew that the other party was telling the truth, he would not admit it. If admitted, Marine's reputation would be severely damaged. It's nothing, just surrender and arrest him. He took out 10 tricks to resolve the matter quickly so as not to affect Marine's reputation. Capturing this little girl was the intention of Marine's higher ups. There was discussion among the crowd. In other words, how could Marine collude with pirates? What Colonel Smoker said is certainly worthy of belief. You must know that Smoker is an extremely serious Marine. Countless pirates who came to Rog Town were captured. At the same time, Rog Town is protected by Smoker, so pirates were not able to come to this town to plunder. Nokigao and Nami only felt angry in their hearts. This Marine actually opened his eyes and told lies. Zoro on the side finally understood. It seems that Marine lied to protect his reputation, and he is also ready to take action. Minato saved the sister of Kuina's benefactor and would never let her be captured by Marine. He was also lying in front of him. Dasky saw this man and asked. Are you going to stop Marine too? I used to be a little envious of this man, Wato Aikimanji, who possesses the 21 skills of a sharp sword. She didn't want the other person to stand against Marine. Zoro replied expressionlessly. Certainly. Minato was very unhappy. It's Marine again. The mouse colonel from before was killed by her in one blow. The Marine in front of me looks a bit strong, but so what? It's impossible to catch yourself. She said slightly provocatively. Catch me if you can. He took out his kanai, prepared to co the opponent, and then left gracefully. Smoker snorted coldly. I don't know how high the sky is. His lower body turned into a ball of white smoke, and then he rushed straight towards Minato, holding Juju as his weapon. He wanted to see what kind of ability this little girl had, and how she could defeat a cruel guy like Eren. If he didn't have the power of devil fruit, it would still be difficult to deal with Eren. Minato was surprised when he saw this scene. This was definitely a devil fruit power. It seemed like she had to be more cautious. She threw out the kanai directly, and then began to condense the Rasengan in her right hand. This marine teleported away after dodging his own kanai. But what happened next surprised her. That is, his own kanai actually penetrated the other party's body. Is this the devil fruit power that my father mentioned? Moreover, the Logia devil fruit ability can be naturalized and immune to all physical attacks. She suddenly felt troubled. She didn't learn armament hockey, so she couldn't cope with it, but she didn't know if her Rasengan was useful. You have to give this a try. The oncoming smoker looked at the ball in the little girl's hand and didn't know what it was, but even a bomb couldn't hurt him. Continue to rush over. But Minato suddenly appeared behind him using the flying thunder god technique. Then he held down the Rasengan in his hand and threw it at smoker's body, directly making a small hole. There was no feeling of hit, just a cloud of smoke. Minato felt something was wrong, so he immediately jumped away and distanced himself. Smoker's body slowly recovered. Fortunately, he recovered quickly naturally. Otherwise, the blow just now was enough to hurt him. He turned to look at the little girl far away from him. This guy can teleport. It must be the power of the devil fruit. With this ability to deal with Eren, he can defeat Eren by surprise. Such an ability feels very threatening. It's just that her attacks are still powerless against her. Even Dasky who was watching the battle was shocked. This ability to teleport is probably a devil fruit ability. What a magical ability. It is very convenient for sneak attacks and escapes. Is this why Lieutenant General he is interested in it? Zoro, however, was surprised by this marine's abilities. What is the ability of this marine? How can the knife miss? 
Dasky said with a cold snort. Colonel Smoker is a user with smoke fruit ability. I advise you not to take action. Your attacks will not be able to hit Colonel Smoker. Zoro was shocked. Does he actually have such magical abilities? At this moment, Smoker turned into a puff of smoke again and chased the little blonde girl, trying to catch her. The flying speed is faster, and you have to catch her before the opponent teleports. Minato saw Smoker chasing after him again, and once again activated the flying thunder god technique and left. Let Smoker miss again. Smoker's expression was a little frustrated and a little angry. Minato returned to Nami, because she had already left her own flying thunder god mark on Nami's clothes, and then warned her. Sister Nami, I will play with Colonel Marine for a while, and I can naturally deal with him when my brother comes back. Please pay attention to your own safety. Nami was a little surprised by Minato's appearance. We will, just be careful. She didn't kill Colonel Marine. Do these Marines still have the guts to catch them? If he really did it, Marine would be too dark. At this moment, Dusky rushed over with Marine. This little girl is so fast. He and others must take action. Zoro also pulled out three sabers and stood in front of him, saying coldly. If you want to capture him, you have to pass my test. Dasky became angry when she heard this. You guys also want to be an enemy of Marine. Zoro was unmoved after hearing this, which was the best response. Dasky looked angry. Okay, okay, then I'll arrest you, too. Give them all to me. So the Marines behind him surrounded him and fought with Zoro. At this moment, Smoker's face was angry, and he was being played again. It turned into a white smoke and flew over again, at full speed. But he didn't expect that the blonde girl disappeared again and returned to the place where he was originally hunting. He was very angry. He shouted angrily while holding Juju in his hand. You guy, don't run away if you have the guts. Minato grimaced. What stupid things are you talking about? My attacks can't hit you. Come after me if you can. This made Smoker think it made sense. It seems that this little girl is not armed with hockey, so she does not have any effective attack on herself. Although he remained invincible, he was not very happy in his heart. It's actually very tricky for this guy to teleport away. Instead of confronting him head on, he kept running away. This teleportation ability does not require any preparation, it really moves instantly. It's so hard to deal with, it's really hateful. This time he also learned to be smart. It is absolutely impossible to catch up simply by chasing. Then launch a long range attack. As long as she appears in a place, attack. It's not him who is in such a mess. He continued to rush towards the figure, and fired a fist that turned into smoke from a distance. White fist. Minato was a little surprised when he saw this move, his body could actually turn into smoke and extend out. She jumped away from her original position, and the fist turned into smoke directly punched a hole in the store behind her. I'm a little surprised at the destructive power. If such a move hits oneself, it will cause considerable damage. It's really difficult to deal with such a guy without armed domineering power. This time when I return to the family, I must learn how to be armed and domineering. This is her next goal. Otherwise, I want to go to other sea areas or new world in the future. I'm really at a disadvantage because I don't know how to be armed and domineering. Alas, at this time she noticed the smoke coming toward her again. He quickly dodged again, leaving the mark of the flying thunder god everywhere. As long as you keep enough, it will be impossible for this guy to catch you, and you will become more and more relaxed. Although she couldn't win, which made her a little unwilling, the opponent couldn't hit her either, which made her a lot less depressed. The smoker who launched the attack became more and more frightened. This guy was able to dodge such a violent attack without using the ability to move instantly. His eyes became serious, this little girl was not simple. With such skills at such a young age, no wonder Lieutenant General he wants her to join Marine so much. It seems that it is really difficult to catch this guy, and the next step will be a protracted battle. He didn't think his physical strength would be inferior to that of a little girl. This will destroy his confidence. After some time, the commotion here attracted the straw hats on the island to approach. Luffy watched in surprise as Zoro and Marine fought. Now these marines have been knocked to the ground by Zoro, of course only with the back of his sword. This is the result of Zoro's training these days. Unexpectedly, it actually works. 
and Luffy came closer. Zoro, did Marine discover your identity? That's why he wanted to arrest you. They are pirates, and it is natural for Marine to catch pirates. Zoro shook his head. Not really. At this time, Sanji noticed with sharp eyes that Nami was also here. I suddenly felt happy. He immediately ran to her side, and Luffy and others followed. Luffy and others learned the truth from Nami. Luffy was furious. These marines are really disgusting. You actually framed a little girl. You still deny that marine colluded with pirates. At this time, a loud voice sounded from behind him. Luffy, do you actually call marine hateful? Luffy was extremely frightened when he heard such a loud voice. Because the source of this voice was his own grandfather, who had always educated him with an iron fist of love and wanted him to become a marine. Grandpa who has been trying to change his dream. If he discovers that he is a pirate, the consequences will be self-evident. Usopp also noticed Luffy's expression at this moment. He was a little curious about who the visitor was, which made Luffy, who had never known what fear was, so scared that he turned around to look. I suddenly felt scared. It's actually a marine again, and it looks like his level is not low. The leader was wearing a marine justice cloak and a dog-headed hat. There were a group of marines behind him, especially a man in a suit with a knife on his waist. This person is not simple at first glance. You know, he is a pirate, so there is no reason not to be afraid when seeing Marine. There are people who can wear Marine's cloak of justice, and they are definitely not ordinary Marines. He immediately acted more cautiously so as not to be discovered, otherwise the game would definitely be over. Luffy was also panicking at this moment, and turned to look at his grandfather in disbelief. It's actually Grandpa who's here. Garp walked slowly to his side and asked in a bad tone. Luffy, you are actually in Rog Town. You are not going to go to sea to become a pirate, are you? Ace went to sea when he was 17 years old, and Luffy is the same age now. Although Luffy doesn't have a bounty on his head yet, that may be because he hasn't committed anything major. That would be the best of misfortunes. Luffy looked at his grandfather not to be outdone. He didn't want to talk, especially when facing his grandfather. The more he beat him, the more determined he became. He yelled, Grandpa, I have gone to sea to become a pirate, and these few around me are the companions I gathered. As he spoke, he looked at his grandfather with a grin. Garp looked at these people with a livid face. The man holding three knives among them also knocked down a group of marine soldiers. The unknown fire in my heart rose up. At this time, Dusky, who was knocked to the ground in pain, shouted. Lieutenant General Garp, please help Smoker catch the little blonde girl. Originally, she still had grievances, that is, Zoro actually injured her, but not with the blade but the back of the knife. It was obvious that no killer was involved. I was angry in my heart, but there was nothing I could do. Naturally, she heard the man wearing a straw hat call Lieutenant General Garp, Grandpa. We were all shocked for a moment. Lieutenant General Garp's grandson actually went to sea to become a pirate. However, this matter will be resolved in Garp. Now she was more concerned about the little blonde girl. Because she turned away from the corner of her eye, Colonel Smoker was fighting with the little blonde girl. Not only could he avoid Smoker's powerful attacks, he could even teleport in critical moments. Colonel Smoker had absolutely nothing to do with her. Sanji was shocked when he heard this. Marine hero Garp. I didn't expect him to be such a big shot. I didn't expect the person behind Luffy to be the hero Garp. He has such a profound background. The grandfather was very angry when he saw it, and his face turned completely gloomy. Garp was really angry at this moment. He didn't pay attention to Dasky's words. Of course, in his eyes, his precious grandson is the most important now. This guy has actually gone to sea to become a pirate. He didn't listen to his own warning at all. He was really a ignorant boy. Fortunately, he came back this time. Otherwise he would be a real pirate if he had become a pirate with a bounty on his head. Just like Ace, that could never be Marine again. Of course this kind of thing is absolutely not allowed to happen. Otherwise, the grandson of his Marine hero became a pirate. What kind of joke is this? He said coldly. Luffy, become a Marine with me, or I will put you in prison. Luffy's face became anxious after hearing this. Absolutely not. It's so fun to take risks after becoming a pirate. Who wants to become a marine? 
His companions didn't speak. The marine hero Garp was already very scary just by looking at his aura. Moreover, this was a family matter and they couldn't interfere. I don't know if some of them will be arrested. Several of them were also a little worried, something was not going well today. Not long after the establishment of the Straw Hat Pirates, they met the hero Garp, and it might really end hastily. I feel a little disappointed and embarrassed. Garp heard Luffy's words and came to Luffy in an instant. A big fist hit the top of his head, causing Luffy to have a big bump on his head and shout angrily. Very good, then I will put you in prison. This is the consequence of becoming a pirate. Garp felt very helpless. He didn't expect that he would make the same choice as warring states. Luffy must be imprisoned and suppress this boy's arrogance, otherwise he will really become a pirate, right? Luffy instantly fell to the ground in pain, wailing. It hurts. Usopp and Sanji were both shocked. At this speed, he was in front of Luffy and knocked him to the ground. He was indeed Luffy's grandfather. Marine hero Garp. Zoro looked surprised. It's so fast. Is this how powerful marine heroes are? Luffy was hurt like this. What kind of ability is this? Because he knew that Luffy was made of rubber, and generally speaking, he shouldn't feel any pain from physical attacks. Just like Luffy can bounce bullets and cannonballs. Dasky, who was lying on the ground, slowly stood up and pushed up his glasses. This is the Marine 6th shave. It can move quickly, as if teleporting. Only elite Marines can learn it. She was gesturing in her mind, wondering how it would compare to that little girl's teleportation. Colonel Smoker obviously couldn't catch the little blonde girl, but after Marine Hero Garp arrived. I'm afraid there is no escape. Zoro was a little surprised, Marine 6th form. What a convenient ability. Unfortunately, he is not a Marine and cannot learn it, but it is enough to refine his own swordsmanship. Kuina was still alive, which made his mood change slightly. There is no regret in my heart. The next thing is of course to continue the agreement between the two, and one of them will become the world's best swordsman. At this time, there was a terrifying explosion in the distance. One of the shops was completely reduced to a sea of flames. The people around have been frightened by such a scene for a long time, and they all stayed away if they were affected. I'm afraid it will be burned. They were all scared. It's so scary. This little girl can actually emit explosive flames. Garp was also attracted by the explosion and looked over with a frown. Could this blonde girl be the person Sengoku mentioned? Is it really such a coincidence? At this time, Dasuki also felt bad. This little girl could also release explosive flames, causing such serious damage to the town. This cannot go on any longer. Colonel Smoker obviously couldn't win the opponents, and came to the Marine hero Garp. Lieutenant General Garp, this is Marine Dasky from Rogue Town. Please help Colonel Smoker capture this little blonde girl. She is the person designated by Lieutenant General He to arrest. Garp looked surprised that he was actually this person. Being able to fight with this kid Smoker. And the ability to teleport is really good. This is not fast movement but teleportation. It's really rare and a real talent. He now fully agrees with Xiaohei's opinion, and he is really very discerning in letting him join Marine. Otherwise, he might become a pirate like his incompetent grandson. Don't worry, I will catch her. At this time, Nokigao, who was watching this scene, accused angrily. Why should Minato be arrested? He obviously did not commit any crime. Is it a big sin to kill a marine who colluded with pirates? I'm afraid you all have to deal with that marine internally. What she said is not wrong. A marine who colludes with pirates is a marine traitor. Such a person would definitely be more hateful than a pirate. Garp heard the strange woman's accusation and replied expressionlessly. You are right, killing Colonel Rat is not a crime at all. The reason why she was captured was to make her join Marine. Don't worry, nothing will happen. He felt that there was nothing to hide about this matter, so he said it carelessly. Nami and Nokigao both understood. It turns out that Marine also felt that killing Colonel Mouse was not a crime, but was just a way to get Minato to join Marine. Both of them felt much more relaxed. I just feel like this approach is a bit overwhelming. Dasky was very surprised when she heard Garp's words. Does this reveal Marine's purpose? Wouldn't that be equivalent to admitting that Colonel Mouse colluded with the pirates? That would probably affect Marine's reputation. Fortunately, there are no civilians nearby, so the news will not spread. 
At this time Garp walked towards Smoker and Minato. With his ability, he could only catch a little girl, so he was still confident. Smoker, who had just been hit by a fireball, had a pale face. Although he was not injured. But this little girl unleashes such violent fireballs that she destroys the town. This is a crime. I was very angry and helpless. There was no way he could catch her. The ability to teleport is so strong that he feels like a cat being teased by a mouse. At this time, he noticed the marine hero Garp walking over and stood in awe. Lieutenant General Garp. Garp looked at the little blonde girl. Let me do it, this kid can't run away. The ability to teleport is very tricky. If faced with an adult with this ability, he is not confident that he can catch up. But she is just a little girl, and she still has abilities, that is, by turning on the domineering power of seeing, hearing, color, and improving her own perception. Instantly sense her location, so you can quickly pursue her. Smoker's face lit up, and with the help of Lieutenant General Garp, he vomited out all the grievances in his heart and yelled at the little blonde girl. Kid, Marine Hero Lieutenant General Garp will take action next. You can't run away. Minato looked depressed as he used the great fireball to attack Smoker but it was ineffective. Sure enough, flames can't hurt Smoke. When I heard Smoker's words at this moment, I felt very disdainful. I'm just a lieutenant general. He's probably better than you. If I'm a marine general, he's about the same. Although the lieutenant general is also very troublesome, her flying thunder god technique is more than enough to deal with it. She knows that the top strength of marine is only the three generals of marine. This is marine's highest combat power. This white-haired old man also wanted to catch him. It was really a dream. Smoker's face turned pale. What a big statement. The hero Garp is stronger than the three marine generals. Before the rise of the three major generals, Garp became famous in this sea. It's just that he is in an old state now, but his state has not declined much. A single marine general would probably only get beaten when facing Garp. Even people with Logia Devil Fruit abilities stronger than myself. Garp grinned. It's been a long time since he met a kid with such a loud voice, and he admired it very much. Hey, how about joining Marine? That would save you the sin of killing Colonel Mouse. Minato was a little surprised. He wanted to catch him before, but this more advanced Marine wanted to let him join. But she decisively refused. I don't want to join Marine. Her brother once said that Marine is not a good person either. Although he maintains the safety of the sea and catches pirates, he is the dog of the Celestial Dragon. The Celestial Dragons are evil existences, and they are existences that even my father doesn't like. They enjoy supreme rights in this world, but they are cruel and tyrannical, treating others as slaves, pets or even ants. Even members of their first family are not so arrogant. Garp looked expressionless, being rejected again. Then put you in jail and temper your temper. Such a little girl now has such powerful abilities and good skills. If he grows up, he will definitely be comparable to a general. No matter how bad he is, he will still be a candidate for general. Will definitely become a marine mainstay in the future. On the contrary, if you become a pirate, you will become a powerful enemy. Of course Minato still didn't want to join. Come if you have the ability. Let me see how powerful the marine heroes are who are stronger than the three marine generals. Her face became extremely serious. If he is stronger than the three marine generals, he must be the top player in the world. I am still young, so it must be very difficult to deal with it. If you continue to be as lax as you were when dealing with Smoker, you will undoubtedly be asking for trouble for yourself. Of course, she is not incapable of dealing with it. Many of the Flying Thunder God's marks have been left in the surrounding area. This is her method and her confidence. Garp couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth when he heard this. What an arrogant little girl. Is it really possible to compete with myself? He directly used the Marine Six style shaver and rushed towards Minato. As if teleporting, he rushed not far away from Minato in an instant. Minato was shocked in his heart, and without hesitation launched the flying thunder god and moved to the farthest distance. Then he looked at the old man in horror. This guy's speed is really scary. If he hadn't been able to fly the thunder god's art, he might have really been caught up. Nami Nokigao was very worried when she saw this scene. Marine hero Garp took action, and he was much sharper than the marine colonel smoker just now. 
Minato had been able to deal with Smoker easily. In their eyes, no matter how powerful Minato is, he can't compete with the Marine heroes. Just hope she doesn't get caught. Although Marine's purpose is to let Minato join Marine, this method makes them unhappy. Garp turns slowly. Really teleportation. Even if he uses Xiao himself, he can't catch up in time before teleporting. It's really interesting. He was full of domineering power, sensing everything around him. As long as you sense where the little girl appears and catch up at your own speed, you should be able to catch up. If a little girl can't catch up, it's because her ability is too strong. The marine hero himself is a bit embarrassed. Now it really starts. After saying that, he immediately used Xiao again and chased after the little girl as if she was teleporting. When he was about to touch her, Minato teleported away again. Before she could relax, she immediately saw the old man again, not far from her, and was frightened in her heart. In a hurry, he used the flying thunder god technique again. The two sides continued to chase each other. Garp took a keen interest. Let's see how long you can run. Such an ability must be very exhausting. It would be too heaven defying if you didn't even use up your physical strength. In his eyes, this is the devil fruit ability, and it naturally consumes physical strength. L. Minato heard his words and didn't reply. She knew her situation. When she was fighting another marine, she had already consumed a lot of chakra to use the flying thunder god technique. If the fight continues, it will be extremely detrimental to her. To perform the flying thunder god technique, you must have a large amount of chakra to be able to perform it continuously. And now the chakra in my body is almost half consumed. I hope brother snake will come back soon. This old man is really not easy to deal with. Able to chase myself down quickly every time. Teleport to the next location, and this guy seems to already know it. Then he immediately pursued her, making her feel extremely stressed. At this time, the white-haired grandfather caught up again. Minato's expression changed, and finally he teleported away again. There is no way, I have no idea of fighting this person in close combat. This guy looks very strong. The speed is still so fast now. This speed is only possible due to the powerful body, not the speed of using ninjutsu. It is not feasible to fight the opponent in close combat, it is too dangerous. Seeing Minato teleporting continuously, Nami was worried. Marine hero Garp is too fast, this is the strength of marine hero. Minato must be very stressed right now. She didn't want Minato to be caught like this. I hope she can hold on and wait until Orochimaru comes back. Her brother is trustworthy, but he doesn't know how long it will take to come back. At this time, the pain in Luffy's head, which was lying on the ground, had subsided a lot and he stood up. Watching the battle between Minato and his grandfather, he was shocked. I have never seen my grandpa look so serious. Grandpa is really scary, and even more scary is this Minato. Minato is so strong. He can let grandpa use such strength, and he can't even catch up. For the first time, he realized the horror of teleportation. Even his grandfather couldn't catch up, and he himself couldn't avoid his grandfather's fists. He was hit in the head every time before he had time to react. Smoker had already retreated to the edge of the battlefield at this time. Of course, there was no need for him to attack the marine hero. That would be disrespectful to the heroes of marine. Furthermore, if a middle-aged man or an old man attacks a little girl, even if he wins, he will lose face. After hearing what Luffy said, he really agreed. This little girl is indeed very powerful, making the marine hero become completely serious, as if she is fighting a powerful pirate. But he still saw it. However, she will be defeated soon. She won't be able to escape for long. This little girl's expression is already very wrong. Luffy also observed it. That was the tired look on Minato's face at the moment, taking deep breaths. But this is powerful enough. At this time, Usopp felt even more scared when he saw Luffy talking to the colonel. How could Luffy be so brave to talk to Colonel Marine? If this little girl is caught, wouldn't it be the straw hat pirates themselves next? Although he has always competed with Luffy for the captain's position, to be honest, if he went to sea alone and relied on himself, his career as a pirate would basically be miserable. Luffy's combat prowess is still very trustworthy. There are other partners, and he doesn't want to separate. He doesn't want this pirate group to be disbanded, or even imprisoned. 
He slowly walked up to Luffy and whispered into his ear. Luffy, take advantage of this moment to run away. You don't want to be locked up by Grandpa. Luffy's face was stunned when he heard this. That makes sense, of course he doesn't want to be arrested. That would be really tragic. Usopp is right, now is a good opportunity. He also came to Sanji and Zoro, calling softly for them to leave together. Sanji looked at Nami reluctantly. Although he wanted to be with Nami very much, he was no longer a companion after all, and he had his own path. Zoro hesitated for a moment and then said goodbye to Kuina, and agreed to become the world's greatest swordsman together, continuing the promise they made when they were children. Kuina will definitely be resurrected in the future. The little girl should be fine. The marine hero just wants her to join marine's tricks. So the four of them left secretly. After a few more minutes, Nami Nokigao's face became panicked. Seeing Minato's breathing getting heavier and heavier, his expression became increasingly grim. If Orochimaru doesn't come, it will be really dangerous. Their action was of no use. On the contrary, not only could they not help Minato, they would even harm Minato. Smoker looked at this scene and felt that it was almost over. This little girl's physical strength is almost exhausted. It was a scene that really surprised him. I didn't expect this little girl to be able to fight with the marine hero to such an extent. Even though she lost, it was an honor. Even Garp thinks so. The speed of his pursuit also slowed down. After all, he just wanted to let him join Marine. Instead of injuring her, she is not a cruel pirate. After Minato teleported for the last time, he slowly walked towards the little girl. Stop. Judging from your appearance, you probably can't teleport. You lost. The little girl in front of him was already stooped and looked a little unsteady on her feet. Minato was a little reluctant, it was really hateful. If you were older, you wouldn't be able to catch yourself. After growing up, chakra and physical strength will increase. Garp grinned after hearing this. That's really a pity. If this little girl were older and had enough physical strength, she might be the one being teased. Fortunately, I met a little girl at this time. The speed of teleportation is even more terrifying than that of Porosalino. Porosalino's flash movement also had a trajectory, but this little girl really had no trajectory at all, she was just teleporting. So you want to join Marine. Otherwise you will really be put in jail. He has cherished his talent, and it would be absolutely terrifying for such a little guy to grow up. Even Luffy and Max can't compare. I don't know what kind of devil fruit power she ate. Minato no longer had the energy to answer him. At this moment, a figure slowly walked up behind the little girl, who was a head taller than the little girl. He had a sinister smile on his body. Is this the marine hero Garp who bullies my sister like this? Let me be your opponent next. Nami and Nokigao were relieved to see Orochimaru back. This person might be able to withstand this terrifying marine hero. With the giant snake he summoned, it is possible to successfully resurrect One Piece Roger. I don't know if One Piece Roger was successfully resurrected. If he can be revived, he will definitely be able to fight against the marine hero Garp. In their eyes, One Piece Roger is undoubtedly a stronger person than the marine hero. They had heard that the marine hero once hunted Roger, but many pursuits were fruitless, which was enough to illustrate the comparison in combat power between the two. One Piece Roger is a pirate who combines wealth, fame, and power. He is the first and only captain of the Roger Pirates to complete the Great Passage in history, and he is also the owner of the legendary One Piece. Nami's heart was moved when she thought of this. If Roger comes back to life, I wonder if he can ask her where this great secret treasure is. After all, Orochimaru said that the resurrected One Piece Roger would be under his control. Maybe we can get Roger's treasure before everyone else, I'm a little excited just thinking about it. There is no telling how many piles of treasure are hidden within. Is it a treasure like a small island? That's really a lot. I don't know how much money that amount of money is. Maybe every piece of the collection is priceless. Of course, she is now a little curious about what Garp's expression will look like later. Nuauchigao, it's stable now. I wonder what kind of expression Garp will show later. After all, they are old rivals, so that would be really interesting. Nuo Chigao also agreed very much. Smoker didn't take it seriously. This young man does look very extraordinary, with a sinister temperament. But the opponent is the marine hero Garp. 
Can it rival it? That would be too shocking. Garp is one of the most powerful people in the world. Comparable to the existence of One Piece Roger. Can this kid have such strong fighting power? The world was shocked. These people are just happy for nothing. Maybe they haven't seen the true strength of Marine Hero Garp. When he just dealt with the little blonde girl, Marine Hero Garp certainly didn't use all his strength. If he used all his strength, he might be able to destroy the town with one blow. Such a terrifying move would be impossible to hide even with teleportation. Garp looked at this young man with a smile on his face, but he was very sinister. Is this the expression a child should have? He seems quite confident. To become his opponent, is this boy more powerful than the little girl? This is possible, after all, he is her brother. Minato looked at Brother Snake and asked with surprise on his face. Brother Snake, you are finally back, have you found it? Orochimaru nodded. Found it. Roger is indeed buried in a nearby cemetery, but his body has been completely cremated and only ashes remain. Dot. Because there are still devil fruits in this sea that can control corpses. That is Moonlight Moria, one of the seven warlords of the sea. He can control the corpses of dead strong men to form a zombie army, which is extremely powerful. But no one in the entire sea can control what turned into ashes. At least after all this time, no one has appeared who can control the ashes. Minato was very happy after hearing this. Then release this big guy and teach the hero Garp a lesson. She bullied me badly enough and wanted me to forcefully join the marines. Yes, although it didn't hit her, it put a lot of pressure on her and her heart was pounding. This guy is no less powerful than his powerful brothers. Such great pressure made her feel extremely aggrieved, so she must be made miserable. Orochimaru nodded after hearing this. Don't worry, I will, but this person cannot be released easily. Let's see if I can defeat it with my methods. Even if he successfully holds one piece Roger in his hands, he cannot let it go easily, as this will make the sea shake. My father also doesn't want his family to be the center of attention. After hearing this, Garp was dissatisfied and confused. Is something big coming? Is it a more magical ability than teleportation? It would be too much to look down on him if he had to hide it from himself. If you have any tricks, just come over. If you are also a reliable person, then you can also join Marine. He did have the intention of cherishing his talent. Such a guy must join Marine and accept the values of justice, otherwise he would look at this young man's sinister expression. If you become a pirate, if you grow up, you will undoubtedly become a very terrible pirate. Orochimaru shook his head and said. I won't use this trick unless necessary. You should feel lucky. Garp felt despised, well, even louder than the little blonde girl. Then I'm going to take action. Minato told Orochimaru with a serious look on his face after hearing this. Marine hero Garp is extremely powerful, even more powerful than the three generals. Be careful. Orochimaru nodded after hearing this. I will. His expression also became serious. It turned out to be a marine hero, and he was a terrifying opponent. I'm afraid I have no way to deal with it. Do I really want to use that trick? But using that trick would definitely violate his father's prohibition, and his father would be angry. I'm afraid I will really be punished. Just when he looked hesitant, Garp had already used Shout to rush to Orochimaru at a very fast speed, raised his fist and hit him. His move was powerful and heavy. Facing such an arrogant brat, he didn't hold back. He was quite serious. Since he is so arrogant, he should be able to withstand his own punch. This punch was never so serious even when he faced Luffy Ace. At that time, his actions were just slightly armed and domineering. Such terrifying speed shocked Orochimaru. He also extended his right fist, and then collided with Garp's big fist. In an instant, his expression completely changed. Feeling the solid fist and terrifying strength, his body immediately flew out. With great difficulty, he managed to control his body without falling to the ground, but there was a look of deep fear on his face. This guy is a terrifying physical monster. With such a young body, he shouldn't be able to fight head on. Now I can still feel extreme pain in my right fist, as if it is about to break. This guy was serious and didn't hold back. Garp was also a little surprised that he actually had the courage to confront him head on. He grinned. He was so young and his body had not yet fully developed. 
he was able to receive a serious punch from himself, at least without breaking his bones. This is already a person who can be called a genius. Performed very well. He used Xiao again to catch up at great speed. You'll be finished next, if you don't have any special abilities. Of course this is very unlikely. He felt that this person must have some special ability. Orochimaru was completely cautious and focused this time, and could see Garp's movement trajectory this time. His body kept moving back, and at the same time, countless lion majesty emerged from the cuff of his right hand and bit him. Latent shadow snake hands. Although the poison of these snakes cannot kill Garp, it would be great if it could make the marine hero Garp coma and lose consciousness. Even if it can temporarily slow down his movements, it would be a very good result. Garp was a little surprised to see such a scene, it was actually Lion Majesty. But this move is of no use to him. The right hand directly covers the armed color and domineering energy. The Lion Majesty that suddenly jumped out bit his fist, unable to penetrate it at all. Instead, his teeth were shattered. Those teeth fell to the ground. At this time, Garp clenched his fist with his right hand and struck directly at the small snakes that suddenly appeared. Those little snakes were immediately smashed to pieces by a few punches. Seeing such a scene, Orochimaru's eyes narrowed slightly. This is an armed domineering body protector. That's why his lion majesty can't break through the defense. And even those snakes that were not touched by fists were destroyed. This guy can use his weapon color to express his domineering power. Only those with extremely strong armed color and domineering energy can achieve this level. He truly is a hero Garp who is stronger than the three great generals. This is going to be really bad. If I don't use that trick, I'm afraid I really won't be able to escape. Minato was in this state unable to use the flying thunder god technique. Even if it was barely usable, Orochimaru wouldn't allow it. It is too dangerous to use the flying thunder god technique in this state. If you're not careful, you might fall into a space crack, and that would be the end of it. Although he can still find and resurrect Minato with his father's supreme power, he will receive a terrible punishment. Seeing this scene, Smoker felt that the young man's previous tone was a bit loud. In terms of difficulty, she is far inferior to that little blonde girl. Her performance is much worse and she has no teleportation ability. There cannot be two devil fruits with the same power in the ocean. It can only release some small snakes, but these small snakes are of no use to Garp at all. Nami and Naki were speechless. It does look like this, but the big snake hasn't come out yet, and it hasn't summoned One Piece Roger yet. If it came out, Smoker would definitely be frightened. As Marine's once most powerful enemy, there is no reason not to be afraid. At this time, Garp smashed the little snake and approached Orochimaru again with his shaver, trying to control him. It also opened up the domineering power of seeing and hearing. This brat must be defeated, otherwise he will not be able to join Marine with peace of mind. Orochimaru was stunned and didn't react. He was sent flying by one of his moves and fell to the ground with long scratches. It can be seen that this move is very powerful. Although it is not a full blow, the force is definitely real. If it were really full force, I am afraid that with the destructive power of Lieutenant General Garp, it would be able to blast an extremely huge hole directly. But it is obvious that when facing a young boy, how can he use such great strength? Just be serious about it. Smoker's expression was completely relaxed when he saw this scene. It seems like he is just an ordinary boy. Much easier to deal with than the little blonde girl. There are no magical powers. Lieutenant General Garp seems to have succeeded with this move. Nami and Nokigao were a little worried. Is this the end of Orochimaru? Why didn't you summon Orochi or Roger? Could it be that there was no success? At this moment, Orochimaru's mouth on the ground suddenly opened, and then a pair of hands directly opened his mouth and opened it even wider. Another Orochimaru came out directly, his body was wet and his face was solemn. He is truly a marine hero, Garp. If he hadn't used the Orochimaru-style substitution technique in time, he might have been seriously injured by now. The Orochimaru Ryu substitution technique is amazing. That is to use your own body surface to withstand such an attack on your behalf. Now you can be said to be uninjured. Smoker was surprised when he saw this scene. There is such a weird method. It actually came out of his own mouth. It seems that he is not injured yet. What kind of weird ability is this? 
Is it really a devil fruit ability? Even Nami Nokigao was shocked. This was an ability he had never seen before. They know this is a kind of ninjutsu, and this kind of ninjutsu is very magical. Orochimaru didn't seem to be injured yet, even though he was hit so hard. But it was covered in liquid. They felt a little sick. Lieutenant General Garp was also completely stunned. He has fought with various pirates and seen various devil fruit abilities, but he has never seen such devil fruit abilities. It seemed that his heavy punch did not injure the opponent. But this is because the opponent's life-saving ability is very strong. Although I was shocked, that was all. As long as you can hit him, even if you have such a life-saving ability, you can just hit him, just throw a few more punches. On the contrary, the blonde girl's teleportation ability cannot be matched even if she uses it seriously. That kind of ability is kind of heaven-defying. Garp grinned. If you only have this level of ability, that's the end of it. Why don't you just be good and join Marine? Orochimaru was very angry when he heard such words that looked down upon him. At the same time, he realized how terrifying this Marine was. He really deserves to be the Marine hero Garp. I really didn't want to use that trick originally. But other than that, there is no other way to deal with him. A more sinister smile appeared on his face. Treat next. Then he slammed the ground. A huge seal appeared directly on the ground, and then a coffin slowly rose up. Of course, the one inside is One Piece Gal Roger, and Orochimaru has been implanted with the control seal. If such a guy is not controlled properly and can be summoned at will, it will be very dangerous. Garp looked at this scene in shock. A coffin actually emerged from the ground. It seems that it didn't come out of the soil, but from the sudden appearance of the seal on the ground. What kind of ability is this? And what's inside the coffin, isn't that the dead person? He knew that Moonlight Moria, one of the seven warlords of the sea, could control the corpses of the dead to fight, which was a terrifying devil fruit ability. Does this boy have similar abilities? And this is Rog Town. Could it be that guy who was summoned? This is impossible, absolutely impossible, Roger's body is indeed buried here. But they have all been burned to ashes, just to prevent his body from being controlled by this similar ability. The ability of Moonlight Moria is already extremely rare, and there is no record of anything similar in this sea. He shouted loudly. Boy, who is in this coffin? Dasky also had a premonition. Is something terrible about to happen? This ability is indeed very strange. It's nothing compared to teleportation. Smoker's expression also changed. Could it be that the people here are his hiding methods? Maybe it will be even weirder than the little girl's ability to teleport. He also felt that this kid was no longer simple. After all, the little blonde girl looked excited now, and she felt relieved when he saw his brother coming before. And who will be inside this coffin? Even Nami and Nokigao were completely surprised. You must know that they have seen the process of Kuina's resurrection. It is very simple and it probably only takes a few minutes. And the coffin that appeared was undoubtedly One Piece Roger. And that's exactly what Orochimaru is for. There would be no one else, and they felt relieved. Now Minato could leave safely without having to fear any marine heroes. They also don't like what marine heroes do. How can they force people to join marine? What's the difference between a marine like that and a bandit? At this moment, the thick coffin board fell directly to the ground. With a bang, a lot of dust flew up. Suddenly, a rough big hand grasped the edge of the coffin, and a figure wearing a red coat, thick hair, and a beard slowly walked out. Murmured to himself. Didn't I be beheaded? What happened? He could see the light. And there is still a body to control. He had obviously been executed by Marine. Smoker looked completely frightened when he saw this man. How could this person survive? Impossible, absolutely impossible. When the execution was first carried out, he was there to see with his own eyes that he was beheaded. Impossible, I am definitely dreaming right now. He slapped himself hard, but the severe pain was transmitted directly to his brain. Is this actually reality? Looking at that figure again, it is indeed One Piece Roger. Dasky was a little surprised and confused. How could Colonel Smoker do such an amazing thing? Is this a very scary person? Colonel Smoker, who is this man? At this moment, Nokigao, Nami, and Kuina were all looking at the figure emerging from the coffin board. They all know that this is one piece, and that's what he looks like. 
He looks like a very thick man, very domineering, but not too cruel. At this moment, Garp's expression changed and he shouted angrily. Fool kid, what have you done? How did you resurrect this fool Roger? In fact, he didn't hate Roger. In fact, Roger was a bit like him. He was deeply trusted by his companions. In order to protect his companions, he would even dare to destroy a country. Even a little naive and simple. But if such a person is resurrected, it will definitely make the pirates completely excited, because their king is back. The sea will shake again, and even the world will riot. This guy should be buried underground forever. Dasky's expression completely changed after hearing Garp's words. Asked shakily. Colonel Smoker, is this man really One Piece Roger? That was someone who had been dead for decades. When he was executed, she was not born yet, so she had not seen her, but Colonel Smoker was about 10 years older than her, so he must have known. Smoker's expression was completely frozen at this moment. Yes, this person is One Piece Roger. Unexpectedly, this young man actually resurrected him. This is really a weirder ability than teleportation. No wonder the three women just felt relieved when they saw this young man appear. Could it be that they already knew about it? At this time, even Marine Bogart, brought by Garp, changed his expression. He is different from other Marines. He is the one who has followed Lieutenant General Garp for the longest time. So he knew that this person was One Piece Roger. They fought against each other many times back then. Of course, I didn't fight with him personally, and I didn't have the ability to fight with such a terrifying and powerful person. His opponent is a former companion of One Piece. Roger heard this rough loud voice, this familiar voice, it was not Garp or someone else, and he looked at Garp with a smile on his face. Garp, long time no see. This is Rog Town. The changes are really big. I think when I left, it was still an ordinary town, but there were no tall buildings like it is now. Then he turned and looked at the young man behind him. Young man, you must be the one who brought me back to life. He just heard Garp's questioning voice. It can only be him, can he have the devil fruit ability to control life and death? What a magical ability. At least as far as he knew, he didn't have this kind of devil fruit ability. Orochimaru had an excited smile on his face. That's right, I was the one who resurrected you. From now on, you should become my strongest fighting force. Give this guy a good lesson. The expression on Roger's face was completely frozen. The strongest combat power. Although I am very grateful to you for resurrecting me, because I still have a lot of unfinished business, but I will not just become a thug. I don't know what happened to his son Ace, whom he entrusted to Garp to take care of before he died. And this guy Garp should keep his promise. If Garp were not Marine, he would definitely be a good partner. As for Garp's white hair, he didn't know how much time had passed. And what he is most concerned about is whether the sun god Nika has reappeared in the sea. He is a man who wants to change the world, a legendary man. Liberate the world. It's a pity that he was born more than 20 years ago, otherwise there would have been a chance to meet this legendary figure. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.